<laughs> Last time we were all in this room, you wrecked his life because at the end of the podcast, <laughs> you're like, "What are you? Why are you doing me with your nose?" And awful. he was like, "I'm sick." I think he cut that out. Too. <laughs> I did. It felt it was, so that bad. That sucks, dude. That was hilarious. That was very. No, funny. wait, no, I left that in. Did you really? I, I was listening. Th- I was trying to find it. It was really funny. You you can find it. Okay. It's there. Mm. It's there. Um. <laughs> Oh, are yeah. we g- are we going? Yeah, we're going. That's how we are. Yeah. Yeah, right. we're going. I don't believe you. Places. Uh, it says it right there. It it's cold? 39, 40, 41. I don't see the black power symbol. <laughs> and then that's what we play. I'm so black, yo. No? And okay. I'm black, yo. <laughs> Can I play some intro music? Go for it. I'm just going to put intro music over. Damn it. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. <laughs> You can do it. The word of the day, guys, is black power. Oh, Those are two words. <laughs> <laughs> you got me. Good to have Nathan back. That's not, that's not music. It's good to have Nathan back. <laughs> Boom. All right. Can I get an effects board? No. <laughs> yeah, when you get an effects board money, yeah. <laughs> I, I will find a way to get like a little like. Dude, you can totally get a really cheap one. They have one. <laughs> like, <laughs> we should probably introduce this. If uh, if if, if I if I get one, I'll get a thing. Like black power, black power, black, black power. power. <laughs> black, 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 black. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> black power. <laughs> Do you not have one in, like in the other room? Because like all those instrument stuff is there. Oh yeah, but I don't, I don't not the same. Oh, okay. What the, what you you need you need like a, a special like beat machine to do that. Yeah, oh. right. So you can do like t- different input. Anyway, oh. Aiken has one or Akani. Mm. What is it? Yeah. Okay. I think they are, do. Are we gonna? Okay. okay. Well, we just I'm, I'll, I'll, okay. <laughs> Anthony Fraser from Movie Man Productions, and today, Black Power. And the reason I say that <laughs> is because we just got done uh, seeing the new Black Panther movie. And boy, do we have a lot to talk about. <coughs> but first, let me uh, introduce my co host. But that was just you just pointed at me. What's up? My name's Ethan Vargas. I forgot to put my last name on that, but yeah. And and uh, and I'm Nathan Hairston. Wow, this was there we awkward. go. Yeah, <laughs> that was the <laughs> best intro ever. Yeah, the, where it got off track is when you went. But uh, <laughs> <laughs> no, because like I'm like maybe Ethan will do it by himself. I don't have to introduce him, but you know. Well, I didn't know what you were gonna do last time you did. So I don't this know. is the most uncomfortable episode of the podcast. <laughs> Black power. <laughs> Flower. So, um, guys, this podcast is just about Black Panther. We're not going to go do it, go through anything else today. Just Black Panther. Um, and there are going to be spoilers because you know, we're going to spoil lots of spoilers. We yep. literally, we actually, like when at the time that this is being recorded, we just got out of the movie and drove right to where we're at to record. Like yes. fifteen minutes, it's yeah, like that. Yeah, yeah, so we, it's very fresh. We just saw it all together, so it was a, it was quite an experience. I feel like we should put at least a no spoiler for at least like maybe fifteen or ten minutes to talk about it. Yeah, and yeah. then yeah, I'm cool with if that. somebody wants to. Get out of it. Okay. Cool. I mean, I'm yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Well, so. um, also, guys, if you have <coughs> seen, if you've seen the movie, make sure to go in the comments and you know tell us what you thought. <coughs> um, cause guys, this was, I don't know about you guys, but I I love this movie. Yeah. Yeah. I loved it. Very good movie. Yeah. I like it was great. Yeah. It was a even movie. even removing the bias of like you know when people first see a movie, mm-hmm. they come out and they're like, yeah! Yes. Like, in all honesty, this is probably one of the one of the top Marvel movies that they've made. Yes. Maybe yeah. even top superhero movies, in my opinion. Mm-hmm. Um, and, yeah, I'm a little biased. Me being too, a, being, yeah. a, being a black person. But th- but that's fine, though. I mean, that's, that's no, fine. No, but, yeah. but even, yeah. even removing all that, all that bias, mm-hmm. um, and the fact that we just saw the movie, it it's just, it's so well done. Oh, yeah. And everything fits together so well. The story is great. Mm-hmm. I, like going through it, there weren't really any hiccups. Yeah, that's it, what I was happy with. Yeah, and it, and it's like the movie was able to keep you just like there wasn't a slow there wasn't a slow moment. At right, all. right. And the th- okay, 
the thing I love the most about this movie is that it didn't feel like a Marvel movie. No, right. it didn't. It felt like it's it felt like its own thing. It's a standalone film, and that's what you know. That's what Marvel has yeah. been wanting to do. Yeah. Right. I think and also like they 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 broke that weird tradition that they had. Kind of mm-hmm. like the first movie that they broke the tradition with was um, Spider Man Homecoming. Oh yeah, where, where it's not an origin story. Where it's not an origin story, yeah. and I even though like they give you, I mean, there's some exposition that gives away the history of Wakanda and what's going on. Yeah. Right. Um, but it does. It's they're not like force feeding you a origin story. Oh, it yeah. picks up right after right. the events where we meet Black Panther and, and Captain America Civil mm-hmm. War, mm-hmm. and then you go from there. Um, with a flashback or two, but it's uh, I don't know. I and I think I think that has a big thing to do with it. That right. and I mean, we got to give props to the director Ryan Coogler. Oh, gosh, he's the he's the mm-hmm. best. Is he's it Ryan? Best. Yeah, Ryan Coogler. Yeah. Ryan. Ryan Coogler. He directed Creed. He's going on to Creed Two, mm-hmm. Fruitvale Station. Yeah. Oh, and also let's give props to this freaking these actors. Yeah, it was amazing. incredible yes. cast. Yes. incredible, incredible the cast. Best. I'll admit though, <laughs> Angela Bassett, her she's a fantastic actor, but her African uh, accent wasn't really. She was the she was the queen, right? Yeah. That's oh, what okay. I, thought. I was trying to figure yeah. out who that was. Okay. Yeah, I thought she looked familiar. Yeah, I mean, uh, African accents are hard to do. They are. Yeah. But uh, it seems like because she's so famous, I feel like she knew she could kind of get away with it. Yeah. Without it being like really spot on. Yeah, yeah. and it's like, and like that was just me and. I don't think anyone else would have noticed, honestly. No, I mean, yeah. and and I mean, it's fine too. I mean, yeah. it, it wasn't like it wasn't like it was terrible or anything right. like yeah. that. But well, like with yeah. most m- movies that have different uh, dialects and and different accents, I feel like it's kind of weird to hear mm-hmm. for the first couple minutes, but then you sink into it because it just you hear it all the time throughout mm-hmm. the movie yeah. for the hour or so that you're sitting there. Yeah. So then it becomes more of the norm. So yeah. that's not a huge deal. Right. What about you, Ethan? I enjoyed it. I especially loved the opening <gasps> because it was just Fantastic. straight off the bat. Oh. You know, it doesn't go into like how yeah. all these other Marvel movies went, go into, yeah. like how it we've been beautiful. talking about that. It was such a beautiful. It movie. just goes straight into the story, and I enjoyed that so much. Like, yeah, yeah. that kept me yeah. straight it off the bat. It reminded you of Lion King. Well, at least oh, yeah. me. Yeah, because okay. I even heard you, you go, he goes, I'm going to tell you a story. And then you were like, no. Lion. No, Sim- yeah. you said Simba or yeah. something. Here's the here's the thing. Like seriously, when that opening scene came on, mm-hmm. I I kind of thought it was a tr- uh, like another trailer because we. Oh yeah. Cause oh yeah. Because usually they put like the like oh, rated I whatever. You got mad about it. You yeah. were like, let's <laughs> get the Black Panther. Come on. <laughs> well, okay. I'm serious. I thought it yeah, was his popcorn. Oh, <laughs> Black Panther. Come on. He just throws popcorn at the screen. I was I was getting frustrated because there's so many previews and then without any warning or any like. This movie's rated PG-13 or whatever. Right. Mm-hmm. They just started the movie. Yeah. And so because of that, I thought it was another uh, trailer. And so it, because of it being set in Africa, mm-hmm. I thought it was uh, the trailer for the upcoming um, live-action Lion King movie. Oh, okay. Oh, the one um, with Donald Glover. Yeah. Yeah. And I got a lot of uh, Lion King vibes. I mean, mm-hmm. granted, it's in Africa, but... Yeah. Right. Yeah. Well, yeah, I, yeah, I definitely... I got that throughout the whole movie. And we'll get we'll get into that. A little later on in the spoiler section, but um, I just loved the freaking. I love the cinematography. Brilliant. There was this mm-hmm. one fight scene. I gotta say it now, but did you guys notice that it was shot in like one shot? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, that, yeah. And that was awesome. Mm-hmm. And I don't. I forgot her name. Uh, you're looking it up right now. Lupita Nyong'o. Uh, no, not her. Um, the other, the other girl, the the really badass one. Wanda. Yeah, um. Yeah. Oh wait, yeah. I'm looking at the wrong. Yeah, no, oh, yeah. I'm, I'm looking oh, at the wrong movie. That's Fruitvale Station. Yeah. Sorry. Um, but yeah, she was uh she was one of my favorite characters. She was awesome. Yeah. Um I think Killmonger, fantastic. fantastic yeah, villain. yes, very much so. Marvel's had a good little streak of villains lately, so let's see if they'll mm-hmm. keep it up. Huh. Venom movie. Oh uh, Yeah. That's for a different that's for a different podcast. We're Ooh. talking about good movies right now. <laughs> <laughs> no, I mean really everything held up. Uh, even the characters that weren't from Wakanda, mm-hmm. wonderfully done. Yes. Every everybody in that movie was such an incredible Martin actor. Freeman's character, yeah, he was great, really good. First of all, like I know it's a lot harder for Americans to do English accents than yeah. the other way around because mm-hmm. they do a lot of work here in America. Right. But um, for a second, I forgot that he was British. Me too. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I did too. Like because I I love the show uh, Sherlock, and I I, mm-hmm. I yeah. that sh- it's such an incredible show. But um, hearing him talk in his regular accent, mm-hmm. 
um, is like, I don't know. It's it's very it's very interesting that he was able to pull it off, and then yeah. to even add that to um, Americanizing his character and really getting it, it was really really brilliantly done. Yeah. He's uh, he's always super talented. Like oh, in Margo, yeah. he does oh. like a Minnesotan accent. Yo, he's and I'm so like, good. holy crap, dude. Yeah, yeah just he's very good. But let's talk about uh, what what's his face? Uh, Andy Serkis. Oh my gosh, dude. Yeah, great. I I great. liked the uh, almost like insanity level. Mm-hmm. Um, craziness that he brought to that. Yeah, I thought that was that was really cool. See, I didn't like his joking though. Oh, that kind of well, took me out. Of spoiler it. section. Yeah. Oh spoiler yeah. Section. Yeah. I'll say. Well, I mean. Uh, no. Yeah. Yeah. I'm um, not saying anything well, specific. Yeah, but. Go on about it, because I mean, like, because <coughs> okay, for me at least, mm-hmm. I've always I love him, mm-hmm. and seeing him in like all of these serious action movies and like Planet of the Apes and all that stuff. Right. Mm-hmm. I like seeing him in that action. He does it well. Yeah, yeah, yeah very much so. Yeah. So, seeing him in a different, I'm not against it, mm-hmm. but I'm also like I would rather see him more mm-hmm. serious. Okay. Right. Than yeah, like I, I think I think okay. it's hard to play crazy. Yeah. Because then there's like that weird line where it feels ingenuine. That's kind of and how then it felt and then it, yeah. and then yeah, like when he was you know? uh, when he was singing in the yeah. No, like, that didn't even really bother me. That, that's the only thing that bothered me. Yeah. The whole sin- the singing part. Um, I liked him though. I uh, yeah, no, he was he was a great good character. character. No, yeah. Uh, who else do we have on here? That was uh, great? So oh, the sister. The oh sister. yeah, yeah. She was fantastic. Was great. Nakaya. Did you, yeah. Did yeah. you guys watch um Black Mirror the newest season? No, I know. Is she in it? Yeah, she was on the last episode. She, wow. Her character was amazing. Nice. <laughs> like, <laughs> it's insane how there wasn't a character I didn't like. Yeah, usually yeah. There's, there's always one that you're like, eh. Yeah, even Forrest Whitaker's character. I mean, I didn't mind him. Man. I mean, and he was in there for like a hot two seconds. That's not her either. <laughs> <laughs> That's why I said, man, you weren't supposed to say anything. <laughs> what was her name? Um, we don't I, all look alike, Ethan. Yeah. Damn it. Wow, Ethan. Black Power. Last episode of Movie Man Talks with Ethan. Hey. Black <laughs> Power. Um, Unless I edit. <laughs> <laughs> Damn it, he got me there. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> but uh, yeah, um, she was a great character. Um, she was she she was that bit of comedy relief. Yeah, that was it. It worked well, except for one part. <laughs> but we'll get into that later. Um, uh, Angela Bass's character, she was fine. Yeah. Uh, mm-hmm. Yeah, there you go. Right, <laughs> that's the right one. I know. Okay. <laughs> and um, all the pictures are so small, though. That's why. Um, Chadwick, what's his name? Chadwick Boseman. Boseman. Yeah, yeah. Um, he's probably my favorite Marvel. One of my favorite Marvel actors now. One yeah. of them. He did he's, a. W- he did an incredible job. Yes, he. Uh, and what what else he played? He played in. He played the James Brown movie. He played. Yeah, um, get up. Forty two. Yeah. He played. Um, Forty two is that Jack and Jackie Robinson? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe. Yeah, and yeah, he's. I mean, he's already a fantastic actor. Yeah, and I, I'm just, I'm just really happy with mm-hmm. this film. That's all I'm gonna say. I, okay, I don't know about you guys, but I'm ready to get into spoilers. Yeah, because like, there's so much yeah. we need to talk yeah. about. <laughs> um, so so is that it for the non-spoiler section? Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. I mean, that's everything. So I this, is, this is the spoiler warning. Yeah. If you're listening past this part, then you've been warned. Yeah. All right. All right. So let's get into the nitty gritty, guys. <laughs> Um, so the movie starts off 1992, mm-hmm. right? Uh, these two guys, they're in the apartment. Uh, no, mm-hmm. these kids are playing basketball mm-hmm. and then, you know, cause these dude guys, these two guys in the apartment is about to do like a hit or something. Yeah. They're about to do planning some kind of crime yeah. and yeah. It was, yeah, it's Sterling K. Brown's, uh, character at this point. Yes. From this is us, right? Yes. Love him. Yeah. I know he's played in something else, but, uh, OJ he's versus the people. Yeah. 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 Yes. Okay. Yeah. 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 No, and amazing job. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So, um, so then they hear a knock at the door, mm-hmm. <clears throat> and one of the characters goes and looks. He's like, um, I, I don't know who these people are. He's like, you just let them in. So they're the two warrior women. It's a Yoke uh, or a Yoki. A Koye? How do you say her name? No idea. Uh, it's O K O. Yeah. They're they're the two women are are two like warrior women from Wakanda. Yeah. Yes. And um, <coughs> so yeah. So then they're like, then he gets down on his knee and he's like, hey, hey, get down. He's telling his friend to get down. And um, 
it's the uh, not the original Black Panther, but it's uh, right. his father. It's, yeah, it's so his father. it's Black Panther's father. Yeah, um, or T'Challa. T'Challa. Mm-hmm. Yeah, T'Challa is Black Panther. Yes. T'Chaka yeah. is his dad. Yeah, so it's King T- T'Chaka in his in his like prime. It looks like. Right? Yeah, and um, from right there, I forget what happens actually. Um, from there, um, we w- with the setup that we've had, um, w- they give us um, a hint that Wakanda doesn't really have a lot of um, contact with the outside world. Mm-hmm. So whenever oh, yeah, they're they on their knees, right, yeah. we find out that um, the dude who was on his who got on his knees is actually a Wakandan yeah. who just happened to be sent out into the regular world. We're in Oakland, California. Mm-hmm, yeah, right. And like uh, Anthony said, it's 1992. Um, and, and that was his brother. Yes. Right. Yeah. Um, and so... Um, you know, the king goes up to his brother, and they're like, brother, like, oh, my gosh, you know, good to see you. You look well, blah, 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 the whole, like, formality thing. Yeah. Um, meanwhile, like, the other guy who he was playing th- with the job with is totally clueless. He has no idea what's going on. Yeah. And so um, the king, T'Chaka, in his prime, 1992, mm-hmm. is talking to his brother now, and he's saying, like, oh, well, we just got word that uh, some of our vibranium has been taken to this place, and there people know information that they shouldn't know and we don't know why yeah. um and then of course you know because he's clearly guilty mm-hmm. the brother says well I don't know what happened and um uh, but well, you know why did you come here and the king says well um I came here so you could look me in the eye and lie to me because mm-hmm. I know you did it yes um and it was a, and it was a big thing and um it just it it kind of got out of hand from there. Yeah. Um, I, well, didn't it cut to something else? Yeah. So right. Zero yeah. or Zuri. Mm-hmm. Yeah. He's like, well, actually, I'm an undercover. Yeah. Yeah. So the well, other guy so. in the room that was with, um, that at the time the King Black Panther's brother, mm-hmm. the guy who was with the brother, um, also happened to be Wakandan. Yeah. Big twist. Yeah. I did was not right. see coming. Yeah. No. There was like three twists in a row. Yeah. I know, there were yeah. The, and and the good thing Chicken is that crazy. like. They were unreadable. Yes, mm-hmm. yeah. Like I did, I had no idea that they were coming. Mm-hmm. Um, and it was, and you know, it's good because the whole theater, we were like, oh, yeah. yeah, you know. So, um, basically, the brother of T'Chaka was set up to be a spy, mm-hmm. but the brother's friend was there to spy on the brother who was spying on whatever. Yeah. So it was like a a job within a job. It's insane. Mm-hmm. So, um, he goes over to an, a little panel in the wall. Or in it with a bag, and then pulls out some vibranium, proving that the brother was uh, the selling. Culprit. Or yeah, yeah, yeah he was so uh, uh, he was selling it to Claw. Right. Yeah, yeah, that's what it was. Yeah, mm-hmm. um, Ulysses Claw, um, who's the guy who gets his arm chopped th- chopped off by Ultron in Avengers: Age of Ultron. Um, uh, yeah, I didn't make that connection. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. So um, then the king says, you know, we're gonna take you back, and we're gonna try you for your crimes. Blah blah. blah. And then we cut to back to this basketball court in, in Oakland, and some of the little kids who were playing basketball see this like UFO-looking ship kind of shrouded in some clouds, mm-hmm. and they see that fly away. And that was kind of a that was a th- like the first real that we've seen real sighting of um, Wakandan technology in the yeah. real world. Right. Um, mm-hmm. And then we get caught back up with uh, Black Panther of current day. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So. Um, now let's kind of just, we'll just kind of break this up bit by bit. Um, kind of like some of our favorite parts and all that. Mm-hmm. Um, first, okay. <laughs> I'm going to get, I'm going to get the stuff I didn't like out of the way real quick. Mm-hmm. Um, first of all, his hand. The plastic <laughs> on his hand. <laughs> so I had that, it yeah. It cracked me up because he put it up to the glass. <laughs> it's just like, like, because they were trying to like break into, uh, they're trying to break into this museum In and get this museum. vibranium. Out of uh, have you seen have it. you seen the Santa Claus movies with Tim Allen? Yes. No. Yeah. Have you seen yeah. the Santa Claus two where he makes a little puppet the version of himself? <laughs> <laughs> That's the third one. Oh, the, okay. <laughs> the second one, oh, Tim God. Allen tries to make a duplicate of himself. Okay, I remember that. Yeah. And he looks like plastic. Yeah. That's what that looked like. Okay. Yeah. And it and like, <laughs> it's it's very weird. If you go if you look at up a picture of Claw from the comics, it looks <laughs> nothing like that. Oh no no. I mean, I, and I know they're trying to go for like some real world like realism and yeah. whatever, mm-hmm. um, but I feel like they could have at least made it a little more realistic. I know. I mean, he yeah, had, uh, he had that vibranium. I mean, he could have made like a more realistic looking arm. Or yeah. at least cooler. It just looked 
I don't know. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Or like it looked like a mannequin arm. It did, like a fat mannequin. Like, arm. You, have you guys ever seen Scary Movie Two? Yeah. yeah. Oh, where's <laughs> like, yeah. that's my strong hand. <laughs> 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 like that's what it yeah. reminds me of. No, yeah, it was it, that was kind of a mess. Yeah, and then also, okay, I know. Oh we yeah, all he totally looks different. Yeah. Yeah, totally. Yeah. And I know we all didn't like this, but when she was <laughs> what? Here's a picture <laughs> <laughs> with that hand. He's like trying to look like Hulk. Nah. You know, like, I'm gonna kill somebody. Not with that hand. I know. I'm like, like come man. on. Come on. It looks like this man of porcelain. I know. Yeah. <laughs> oh, okay, yeah, but guys, we ha- we all have to agree. The worst part was when. What are those? Yes. God. Oh, yes. My God. Yes. I was having fun until that point. <laughs> Do you hear that one person? They were like, ha! Huh! <laughs> like, no, like no. in the background. Yeah. And I was okay, just like, so come on. What we're talking about is there's a scene. Once we catch up back up with Black Panther of current day, mm-hmm. after the events of um, Captain America Civil War, they're in this big laboratory. And, you know, Black Panther's sister is like, who's, she's like a tech genius. Mm-hmm. And she's like giving Black Panther a bunch of new, new stuff, like a new suit, whatever. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And then um, she's like, uh, well, well, he asks her like, oh, well, what are, what are these? Because he's looking at a piece of tech. Yeah. And she goes, well, you should be asking is, what are those? Oh. <laughs> like, looks I- at... It was oh so so cringed, out of place, cringe, cringe, so out of cringe. place. Trying to appeal to like millennial mm. and a joke and that's, that one that's lady. old, yeah. like that's yeah. not yeah. even a thing it's anymore. Like, yeah. Did they write the script like way back then or something? And, like, like two years ago, no, I feel like they were like, "We're gonna bring it back with this." It was like, yeah, one we, joke. we got no. this. They got that one lady that laughed at the same oh. progressive <laughs> commercial. Like I was like, oh, Jesus, <laughs> get out of here. Yeah. Um. um those are the only parts I didn't like. I don't, yeah. um, what about you guys? Is there any? I didn't like the fight scene. The final fight scene. You didn't? It's too CGI yeah. for me. Oh. Well, I think I mean the the thing that I didn't like was um other than like the hand and stuff mm-hmm. was the unnecessary use of of CGI. Yeah. Like with, with with fight scenes, like yeah, I mean obviously you can't have like people flipping around and like right. claw <laughs> whatever. This, but with things like um, there's this ritual that they do to give Black Panther his powers, where they have to like, mm-hmm. it's, it's not like a burial burial, but they like cover them in sand or whatever. Yeah. Um, at a point in the movie, um, this gets replaced, the sand gets replaced with some snow, and the snow is CGI. I don't know why. I, I see. I didn't notice that. I, I thought it was just like that fake snow. That I they use I on don't know. Everything. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. I, I I are you sure it was CGI? I promise you it was CGI. Mm-hmm. I have a really good eye for that kind of stuff. It sounds like I I know. (laughs) No, listen, guys, I know movies. But it's like, um, kind of like how you would never know, right? But in um, Captain America: Civil War, Black Panther's suit is CGI. Oh yeah, yeah. it's it's white, and they CGI the black in there. That's not necessary. We have the the ability to make. Actual costumes. It that all look comes good. down to time, or at least no, yeah. So but they could I mean, do a mixture of it. big movies like that. But I mean, I mean, that's even more a reason to to go as real as possible, right? N- well, you can practical use fake effects s- take longer, right? But yeah. I mean, or you know, they could just do a mixture of it. Yeah, uh, mixtures look better. Well, I mean, they, okay, so if but they time, were, though, that's the thing. That's right, the thing we're really I guess. But, but even if they were to use some kind of fake snow, mm-hmm. um, and then. Uh, CGI in, in, in yeah. and, and texture it and layer it like real snow. Yeah. It'd be so much more believable. I guess yeah. imagine the scene fight again. scene of at the end of the Force Awakens, but yeah. all that snow is CGI. Yeah. yeah, it'd be like that. It'd be like kind of like what? What? Hmm. You know? Well, see, I I always have a problem with CGI's in movies, mm-hmm. but yeah, I, I didn't really have too much of a problem in this one because yeah. I felt like it was necessary. Because I mean, we're, they're taking us to this world that means that doesn't. Exist. Right, and right. The, we're exp- you know they've got all this like crazy yeah, technology, right. yeah. and they're so advanced. And yeah. so this is like a really small yeah. part I'm talking about. Like, oh yeah, no, that, yeah. Oh, yeah. The scene I'm, I'm referring to was like a second. Like, yeah. yeah, it's not a huge thing, yeah. but um, the fact that I you know, noticed it, like mm-hmm. some people, some other people have to notice it as well. So it's kind of like, oh, yeah. do they really need to do that? Like, Marvel's a billion dollar company now, and and Disney is. Yeah. The biggest and they company have on so Earth. many people too. Well, I mean, there's no reason why they couldn't have done it exactly. practical. Yeah. yeah, no, I totally yeah. agree with that. I um, I didn't like the rhinos. <laughs> really? Yeah, uh, that, that they weren't really I, a big part of it. Well, though. see that. Well, no, it, they just but they were they CG were giant. Yeah, they <laughs> yeah, were. yeah, they were like genetically altered rhinos. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> like on Family Guy with the pig. <laughs> oh, <laughs> oink! <laughs> yeah. we talked about that last week. Oh, er, oink! Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> but um, yeah, so. Um. So, what did you not like, Ethan? You said you didn't like the last fight scene. Yeah the the post 
for the final battle. Yeah, okay, yeah. why didn't you? Uh, you said it's too much. CGI. Too much CGI with that. Mm. And I mean, I understand the context of it, but mm. right. I feel like how we were talking about it, they could have put more of a mixture in there. Uh, I feel that for that one, that might be kind of tricky. I don't know about because that because what they were because I mean, like half the know, time I know. you could tell when it was totally CG. It I looked like a Dragon Ball no, Z. No, the whole fight. The, okay, don't get me wrong. That whole scene, nothing yeah. was real. I know. Even yeah, though, not the Black Panther. No. Oh yeah, no, those were like totally like. Yeah. Uh, no, you have like a vibranium train, like Sonic disruptors, mm, two yeah. dudes in like suits that can put themselves on. Yeah. Like, mm. there's no way none of that like was right. It, none of oh, it was yeah. real. But the thing that distracted me from all the CGI was the yeah. colors in it. Oh, really? The colors really distracted me because they're so beautiful and vibrant. You're just and like, oh. Yeah. Oh, my I, I, God. Like oh I, really? Okay. Yeah. I, well, yeah. Okay. well, I mean, they're, they're uh, especially like th- at the very end with that mm-hmm. big battle with like all of the mm-hmm. tribes. Yeah. Right. There was, so, I mean, it makes sense because in African tribal things, they are, they do get quite colorful. Right. Oh, yeah. But, um,. There, the, it is kind of like a palette overload, mm-hmm. a little bit. Yeah. And I love I this. I love the whole setting of Wakanda because it kind of oh, felt it like beautiful. A, it felt like a whole. If, yeah, it felt like like a neon Africa in the sense. Right. You know? It kinda was like, like a kind of like neon Gotham. You know. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Like it was like a like a mixture. If you took like the tribal world of Africa mm-hmm. and you mm-hmm. kept all of the tribal elements, but like boosted up the, um, you just took away the third world part of it. Yeah. yeah. Like real, like it would be like if, if, and that's that's essentially what it is, right? You know, so. and, and and it was like a, it was a nice little like neo futuristic, but yet also tribal. It was it was nice. Yeah, it was mm-hmm. cool. Um, let me. Okay, I'm gonna tell you guys one of the most beautiful scenes in the movie, and they I mean they go to it a few times. Well, and my, and also this is my opinion, right? Mm-hmm. Um, so, <laughs> um, so. When he's crowned king, he has to go through this uh, ritual where he drinks. What does he? What does he drink? He drinks like this. To get blood. to get the to get the powers of the Black Panther, um, the the king or whoever is allowed to do it, mm-hmm. um, takes this heart shaped herb, and okay. that herb endows you with the powers of. I think her, the 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 Panther God's name is Bast B A S S T. Something like that. We looked at it. Yeah, look it yeah. Up. Some, it, it, yeah. Anyway, Panther God and, and this heart shaped herb gives you like heightened senses, super strength, mm-hmm. um, the ability of panthers and and that kind of thing. Yeah. Um, and so that's what gives him the powers. Yeah. So. Bast. So what? Bast, yeah. Okay. yeah. So what he does? He, he he lays in like this. Um, that's I sand I stuff. Sand is it sand? Okay. Yeah. He yeah. lays in like this little sand pit. Mm-hmm. It's uh, like a red they sand. D- yeah. They feed it to. Oh, uh, they make him drink the herbs and all that. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And um, he closes his eyes, and they start burying him, mm-hmm. which I, I love that. I love that little ritual scene. Yeah. And then he wakes up, and he's able to see his ancestors. Yeah. His ancestors. And it felt like it, it, was it like takes him like to like, like what do they say? Like the ethereal plane. Or yeah, like yeah, whatever? yeah. Yeah, and it was oh gosh, it was the colors of the sky because it was mixtures of like blues and greens. And it, purple. it felt like the uh, uh, the uh, what's it called the aurora borealis. Aurora borealis. Aurora, yeah. aurora borealis. Yeah, that Aurora. <laughs> Aurora yeah. Borealis. Yeah, it felt like it was just like everywhere and then Yeah. The real oh, and it, uh, I love how the, the past kings were represented by their Panthers. Yeah. Like they yeah. have that yeah, shot yeah. where yeah, they're, they're like, in the trees. Yeah. And mm-hmm. then one of the Panthers comes down and mm-hmm. then it turns into the spirit of his mm-hmm. father, T'Chaka, yeah. who and already that's, died. That's what reminded me of Lion King. Remember when, you know, Simba was going He looks up into the sky. Guy. Yeah. Sees his father. Yeah. And Everything the light touches. <laughs> yours, yeah. yeah. Man, and then yeah. Oh gosh. That that scene was great, and that, and I was thinking in my mind, I'm like, okay, guys, this is my favorite scene. I'm going to talk about this on the podcast. Yeah. And then after that, they had the fight with um oh well no well later on they had the fight with Killmonger mm-hmm. and T'Challa, mm-hmm. um, and then I'm like, man, this is that was very powerful. Yeah. Yeah. Like, uh, like, and and then after well before that. They had the freaking that one shot fight scene where they're in South Korea, mm-hmm. right? Oh, dude, that was really good. That, that one was was yeah. amazing. The yeah, one, the one that scene. really got me, mm-hmm. um, was not even an action scene. Uh-huh. Um, the the movie is filled with, um, I mean, okay, so there's that initial flashback at the beginning that we talked about, mm-hmm. but then more is revealed about the, that specific flashback yes. later in the movie, mm-hmm. and so um, Anthony just explained how. Whenever you are crowned king, you take this herb, and then you go to the ethereal plane, 
And apparently, it's different for everybody. Yeah, yeah. Right. So yeah, that's when, what I was surprised when, when Killmonger, Michael B. Jordan is the actor's name, um, he um, eventually takes over and um, takes the herb and is buried, and then he goes to his ethereal plane. Oh, my gosh. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Which is, at, it, instead of it being like an African plane and there's a tree of panthers, mm-hmm. instead, it's the apartment um, that we see in, in the initial flashback. We should talk about that to us later. Oh my gosh, that was such a like powerful. Yeah, yeah. But I, when he I when he when he went right back know, and he saw his father, mm-hmm. um, there was a lot of talk of you know because he was abandoned by the Wakandan people. Yeah. He doesn't know where he comes from. It, it's all a mystery to him. Mm-hmm. And there's a, I I identify a little bit in that because I was adopted twice, so I don't know my birth parents, and so that was kind of like, even though the, the situations are totally different. Like that really hit home for me, and that was such yeah. a powerful scene with oh him and yes, his father was, yeah. finally getting to talk after all that time, uh-huh. um, and him being able to and and even the the part that got me was um, really bad was he's talking to his father, mm-hmm. he's looking th- around in the house, mm-hmm. and then you hear the father's voice, and the father says, "How many times have I told you not to look at my stuff?" Mm-hmm. And then and it, it and then it, it cuts back to Michael B. Jordan, and instead of it being Michael B. Jordan. It's the kid oh. version of himself. Oh yeah, yeah. that was that man. Was and then later on, right. like he was talking about what he found, and then um, one of the father says, "You what? You don't have any? You don't have any tears for me? Yeah, because yeah. I'm dead. Like because well, of what happened." Mm-hmm. And he was like, "Oh, everybody dies. I just yeah. kind of learned to accept." Like that's something that's never been brought into a Marvel movie before. No, and it was mm-hmm. so deep, man. It was very, yeah. very deep and very powerful. Uh, very. Powerful. But I think the thing about the uh, whole. Them going to the what the astral planes or something? Yeah, yeah. ethereal, whatever. Yeah. Astral plane. I don't know. I think it's the ethereal. I don't know. Yeah, I, I think it. it's just it's supposed to symbolize their true home. Right. Mm. So right. like, there's a lot of like, like coming home talk in the movie. Yeah, like T'Challa, like when he was, well, we'll talk about this a little later. When he when he almost died, uh, mm-hmm. you know, his dad's like, "All right, are you real? Are you ready to come home to me?" Yeah. And then you know. And then Michael B. Jordan's, like you said, he's in the apartment that he was born in and, you know, yeah. raised in. You know, that's where his life essentially ended and started. Right. Yeah. Um, and, yeah, so it, it's all just represents home. That, I think I feel like that's, like, the main theme of this movie. Just going home. Yeah, just, like, yeah. Yeah. Wh- and your, place. your true home. Yeah. Yeah. Like, yeah. Where you, you like, this is w- yeah. like, where do you belong mm-hmm. in this world? Yeah. And, and then even on top of that, you have, like, layers of um, – like family and st- standing mm-hmm. up for what you believe, as opposed to what's been been happening over the course of all this right. oh yeah. centuries of whatever, mm-hmm. and the um, choice of powers too, right? Like mm-hmm. Right, like you know. being in, in in power is important, and yeah. having the right person in power is important, right? Yeah. <coughs> and also, I mean, you know, Michael B. Jordan, his his thing is like, um, all you Wakandans, you guys, you guys have it made, but the, yeah. you know, we we're the same. We're the same people. We're, I mean, we're both yeah. black, and yet you're not and helping. Yeah, and yeah. like, what are you doing to help us? I yeah. mean, we're out here. We're struggling. We're dying. You know, we're killing each other, but you're over there just living like gods. Yeah. yeah. And you know when he in that, and like in that, uh, ha- you know, he was explaining all that like during that fight scene, mm-hmm. right? Um, <coughs> the first time they fought, and that man. That really got me. Yeah, because yeah. it's like it's well, because he's right. I yes, think the part the part that like is weird is that both sides are correct. Yeah, right. Like with and the they just Wakandans, no. like they like the outside world can't handle what they have there. Yeah, it's too much. Mm-hmm. And mm-hmm. Claw is a great example of that. Mm-hmm. He has one little arm that mm. destroyed <laughs> that like pretty much leveled that room. Yeah. Um there with where there's a fight scene that we'll get to. Mm-hmm. But um and they're right. Like they're so technologically advanced. It's like they I, I don't it's it's too much. Yeah, mm-hmm. it is. But at the same time with Michael B Jordan, even though he's the 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 quote unquote villain of the movie, mm-hmm. I I don't know if I I mean he is a villain, but He's completely a hundred percent correct right. in what yep. everything he says. Yeah, he is. Not in the way that he acts out his plan. Yeah, yeah. but he's right. Dude, the Wakandans mm-hmm. were being very selfish, and yeah. even uh, there's a point in the movie, a turning point, where even T'Challa and the other people are like, "Yeah, you're, yeah, you're right. Yeah, like, you we're definitely this, yeah. like we're being selfish, and mm-hmm. we're, yeah, you know, yeah." And um, he um, uh, gosh dang it, I, I, I lost some some stuff. <laughs> forgot what I was gonna say. Um, where where did we leave off from about yeah. talking about from the movie? Um, 
We're kind of just jumping around at this yeah. point, to be honest. Um, okay, let's talk about the uh, South Korea scene. Yeah. Okay. Uh, so, okay, so there's this big coronation scene, and um, no nobody opposes T'Challa as becoming king now that T'Chaka has been killed in that explosion mm-hmm. into a war. Um, then, um, first couple, I'm assuming uh, uh, the first, like, within the first week of being king, um, some of his, um, like, I guess you could call him the royal guard mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. of sorts, Yeah. Um, tells him about, hey, like, we have information on this claw dude who's in South Korea mm-hmm. selling off this stuff um, to an unknown buyer. We don't know who he is, but mm-hmm. we finally have a chance to catch him um, because he apparently broke into Wakanda and stole a bunch of vibranium. And that's that's where they go. Yeah. Um. So they go to this little little like what what, what would you call it? like a I little exquisite bar? Illegal casino. Ca- it was kind of like a illegal casino. casino. No. Yeah. It, it, yeah. 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 It, but Stop. like the illegal casino was um masqueraded as like a like a it looked like a fish market like an open market. Yeah. 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 In like yeah. a like a downtown area of, mm-hmm. of South Korea. Yeah. So yeah. yeah. So they went in there. And immediately when you you know when they went in there, I was like, "Wow, this feels like James Bond." Oh yeah, because oh that's yeah, it was like Skyfall. Yeah. Uh-huh. It looked just like it. Yeah, like oh, it and was crazy. Um, so yeah, you know they're trying to you know, you know get the contacts and all that, trying to survey the area. Right. Um, looking for Claw and all that, and then they come across Martin Freeman's character. What was his name? Um, Ross, Agent Ross, I Agent think. Yeah. Ross. Okay. Um, Agent Ross is the guy for those of you who are. Lacking in memory, um, he's the guy in, I believe it was a Civil War, yeah, he's Civil and War. Um, and Captain America Winter Soldier as well. Um, okay. He's the uh, he was a Winter Soldier. Yeah, briefly you wouldn't yeah, okay. you wouldn't remember him, but he's he's in there. Everett uh, Ross. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Agent Ross. Yeah. Um, he is the guy in um, Civil War mm-hmm. who um, is he, he runs into the Avengers a lot. Um, especially with the winter, the Winter Soldier storyline, he is mm-hmm. pretty integral in that. Okay. Whenever um, Captain America g- and Black Widow they get captured and taken to that the Triskelion. Yeah, yeah. Um, and then they they put Bucky oh, away. Oh, one of my favorite mm-hmm. scenes. Yeah. Yeah, they put Bucky away. And Bucky and that yeah, down. in that big like glass box. Yeah. Um, Martin Freeman is the guy who oversees that. Okay. Y- you'd miss him if 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 you blinked in the movie. Right. But yeah. But he's he played there. It. He played a big part in this movie, though. Big, mm-hmm. I'm a lot bigger than I thought he was. going I know, to. me too. I thought he was just gonna make it a cameo. Well, because you know they had like they had Phil Coulson mm-hmm. as like the guy who was like the interlink between all the movies. He'd yeah. pop up. Oh, from Agent ex- Shield. Yeah. yeah, I was trying to find him. I, I loved that character. Yeah. Coulson was a great character, and yeah. I'm sad they killed him. Do you kill think that they're gonna do that with him? Yeah, kill him. No. Okay. Um, but uh, with Martin Freeman, I think Martin Freeman kind of took that place a little bit. Oh yeah, and he did a good job yeah. taking that place. For Wonderful me. job. Yeah. Yes. And um, so yeah, so they're here. They meet up with him. They and you know they weren't supposed to meet up with him. He's like, you know, I'm, I'm trying to like get Claw too. Yeah. But you know, Claw comes in. He's acting all cocky and whatnot. Mm-hmm. He throws these jokes. They're kind of yeah, <laughs> so bad. Yeah, I mean, I, they weren't bad. Well, they're they're just like they're a mess. He's like, I made it rain. No, oh no. my gosh. Oh uh, uh, yeah, like, they get out of here. Come on. Yeah, he said something. That, he said something really stupid that was really modern. But which one? Oh man. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but I don't it, know. It's that line between yeah. like being playing insane to where you're like actually like oh like that dude could kill somebody. Yeah, mm. as opposed to being crazy as in like crazy funny where it just doesn't mm-hmm. work. Well, because well, I think Mar- of Joker from mm-hmm. Batman Begins mm-hmm. or not Batman Begins. Right, but that's like the, the, the kind Knight. of insane that's like oh man. Well, see, my but he's still funny like, though. That's no, the yeah, thing. I yeah. Th- I thought he was. I like. Looking at the trailers and all mm-hmm. that, I didn't think he was gonna be like the Funny. comedic character. Yeah, I didn't either, I, or anything, because I thought he was just gonna be just like cocky, you know, yeah. just like this yeah. cocky. Not guy. gonna lie, I thought he was gonna have a much bigger part in the movie than he did. I, I did, did too. too. Yeah, man, because um, mm. he um, it was like real quick. No, it felt yeah, at and least to me. but I think it, it was needed though. Yeah. Oh yeah, for sure. For sure. Yeah. Yeah, definitely for Killmonger, man. Yeah. His character development. Right. Um. So yeah. So we. Um. So what's up? That car scene. I'm. I'm. Oh yeah. I'm right. watching it right now. That was like one of my favorite scenes. Even though that we saw it in the yes. trailers as we're watching right now. I was about to just get Phenomenal. into that. Phenomenal. Yes. Yeah. That was oh great. Oh my gosh. Just. Yeah. Um. So yeah. Um. So then Claw comes in and all this stuff goes down, and there is this amazing fight scene. It's just like one shot. It's just like. 
well, it starts off with the I, I, forget, I keep forgetting the girl's name, the badass girl. She she's like the main royal guard girl who like yeah, is mm-hmm. like second, not second to 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 Chala, who's now king, mm-hmm. but it's like she's always wearing the armor, right? Yeah. yeah. If if he's has a question about security or like anything like that, mm-hmm. it she's the first person that he talks to. That's his yeah. main man. Yeah. Like, yeah. Yeah. She man. Yeah, like a right hand man. Yeah. 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 And she man. She is. Lit- she, she will is be a, one of your favorite characters. I promise. She's a that. badass. Yes. And I love that she's so loyal. Oh, yeah. 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 Her and, conflict and we, was amazing. loyal to a con. Yeah. yeah. For sure. But and and I love that. Uh, when that conflict comes up mm-hmm. later in the movie right. mm-hmm. about um, there's like a switching of uh, who's on the throne and she goes, well, I, t- this is my job. Like yeah. I, I serve yeah. the throne no matter what, mm-hmm. which is like so unbelievably accurate to that yeah. way of living and that yes. like tribal way of living. Exactly. Yeah. They don't go against whoever's in power. It's, right. it's like not questioned. And that's like that kind of like hierarchy of like having a king or a queen or whatever. Yeah. That's so accurate. And I, and I, I was worried that she, they were going to flip her. Mm-hmm. And she was just gonna. Well, go I mean, they do it towards yeah. the very end. Yeah, yeah. Which is, but they did at the perfect time. Yes, though, yeah. Especially with her it, boyfriend, it, I assume. Yeah, or her husband. Yeah. But I don't if know whether or if not. if they would have switched it, whenever it was initially proposed, yeah, it would have felt like forced. Yeah, uh-huh. mm-hmm. you know, like yeah, you're right. We gotta gang up and save the yeah, day. Yeah, I know. Like, yeah, and I'm glad also they didn't just force that. Yeah. Like things it were worse there. And they got so much worse even mm-hmm. after that. Oh, yeah. Before yeah. anything got better. Yeah. So. I was I, scared she was going to die there. Oh, oh, yeah. Oh, man. Oh, yeah. But, yeah. um, So, yeah. So, yeah. Back to the one-shot fight scene. So, it starts off with her. And she starts kicking ass. And then, like, it really starts when she, like, she, uh, she kicks this dude off this ledge. And then she, like, freaking, uh, she, like, jumps after him. And then we pan over to uh, to Charlie. And he's fighting people. And then we go over to his ex, well, his ex girlfriend at, at the time. Yeah, maybe. yeah. Uh, you know, she's fighting people, and it's just like it just pans all around the whole room, and yeah. then like we go up to uh, Ulysses. He's so like, fluid. Yeah, mm-hmm. and yeah, it just like cranes all the way up to where Ulysses is, and he's just like shooting down at him, and then T'Challa jumps up there, and then he just like does a little, little rocket arm and just shoots him. <laughs> Ugh. And then it then it ends right there, really but well it was uh, I was like because I knew there there had to be one one shot fight scene in this movie, yeah, and they did it justice for sure. And then after that, that's you know where they did the car stuff. Mm-hmm. You want to talk about yeah. that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ethan, oh <laughs> yeah. Sorry, I was watching. I'm still <laughs> watching, but like even oh my gosh, just the textures and the colors oh in gosh. that scene was amazing. Like okay. we talked about, it, it's like cyberpunkish. Um, oh my gosh, yes, yeah, I didn't. Even but think it's about just that. like I. I have no words for it. I mm-hmm. that was one of my favorite scenes in that whole movie. It's, yeah. it, I mean, even just looking because Ethan pulled up the the trailer, yeah. so we're watching the trailer right now. Even just like looking at all of the things that they give you in the trailer, it's a perfect balance between like the old Everything. tribalness yeah. and mm-hmm. like the futuristic technology. And it's like I can't I can't say enough about it. it's just perfect. Mm-hmm. It kind of reminds you of like a old eighties cartoon. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Like, like He Man. Oh my gosh! Yes. Yeah, yeah. Like, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Enough color to be like vibrant, but not mm. enough to be like what? Yeah, yeah too over. I if they ever made a He-Man Pressure. movie. Right. I mean, yeah. there you go. There you go. Um, Take that formula. Yeah. Oh. The, the 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 casino scene um, with all that fight um, eventually leads into this really incredible car chase, which is the one that you see a little bit of um, in the uh, in the trailers. Yes. Yeah. The trailer. Um, and that's and oh man, that was really. It was great, man. Like we were talking about, man. Those color, those colors. That's what just. That's what got me through the whole movie. Yeah, and very well done. And like as a filmmaker myself, that's one thing I really want to practice on is my, mm-hmm. you know, my colorings, especially like mm-hmm. gels, my lighting, and all yeah. that, and like you know, color correcting and all right. that. Yeah. But man, he just gets it. He just gets it mm-hmm. down to a T. The coolest thing I ever heard about color in a movie. Mm-hmm. I, okay, really weird tangent. Yeah. But actually, was in Kung Fu Panda. Because no, I'm serious. I know, I know. But I, I, I listened to a commentary, and um, I think it was the director was saying that whenever you see, um, like, th- there's that scene where in the first Kung Fu Panda, uh-huh. the the evil dude is escaping from that big prison. Oh yeah. Um, oh, and really and the red symbolizes the royal guard, and mm-hmm. the blue symbolizes Tai Lung and all the evilness mm-hmm. that he brings. So yeah. as he works his way up through the jail. All of the the 
the torches go out and you get more of the blue and less of the red. Mm -hmm. Whereas all the way down when they're bringing you into the jail, almost everything was red with a tiny bit of blue. And I love the fact that they use that color all throughout the movie to show the power between the two sides. Mm -hmm. And you wouldn't notice it unless Mm -hmm. it was pointed out to you like that. Yeah. But it really puts more perspective into everything that you're seeing and adds so much more in depth of Hmm. um, that kind of feeling. And I feel like that, I mean like with um, his suit being purple and Killmonger's oh, suit yeah. being gold. Yeah, mm-hmm. when I mean, they're it doing that fight, yeah. It was just like that. Yeah. I still think Sherlock Gnomes had really good uh, coloring. God. God. <laughs> <laughs> no, okay. So, um, another scene that I uh, really liked, and, well, Ethan kind of doesn't really like it, was, the, you know, the last fight scene. Yeah. yeah. But my thing that I loved the most about it was the ending of it. Oh yeah, yeah. When it ended, <laughs> oh yeah, <laughs> that was literally it was. Beautiful. Oh my gosh, I like I literally teared up again at that yeah. point. There's so many powerful moments it, in this movie. This is like just a powerful movie. Yeah, it's yeah. very. It's and movie. It's, and, and it came the, at the right time. I feel. And here's the thing, well. it's not just a powerful movie for black people. I think it's just a powerful movie in general. Yeah. In general, but I mean, I mean, black people can watch. This is I mean, I mean, two black people sitting in this room right now, being Anthony and I. I feel, I mean, kind of like with Wonder Woman, mm-hmm. um, and we were talking about this before the movie, yeah. um, with Wonder Woman, that was such a big thing for women all over the world to be able to see a woman hero, and it yeah. be her movie, and not about her playing second fiddle to a man, mm-hmm. or whatever, and having that equality um, symbolized within a movie. I yeah. feel like it, this is the same thing. Mm-hmm. And yes. and I didn't say anything about it, cause, but uh, after the movie, you guys were in the bathroom, and you went to the bathroom. And I saw um, these this two this couple, mm-hmm. and they were they were older, maybe in their upper forties, low fifties, mm-hmm. and they stood next to the Black Panther big black poster board. Yeah, yeah. and they took a picture with it, mm-hmm. and they did the Black Power symbol. Were they black? Yeah. Oh yeah. Next to it, and because I like I I saw that, and I was just like, this is real. Like, like that's that's what that movie does for people, mm-hmm. yeah. and I feel like. Oh mm-hmm. man, I I can't even explain. It. It's it, it was a very good moment. Okay, um, let me ask you a question. Um, did you feel empowered yourself after this movie? Oh, absolutely. Yeah. yeah. Okay. I mean, I thought I was the only one. No, <laughs> I mean, black people go through. I mean, and here's the thing: if you mm-hmm. talk to older people who are also black, mm-hmm. I mean, all older people will tell you that it's so you have so much easier than we did. Oh yeah. Whereas you know, like black people even. In today's culture, uh, and we're going off on a little tangent, but it makes sense. Yeah, it's um, you know, black people even in today's society go through um, just as bad things, but in different ways. Yeah, it, yeah. Uh, it's been a lot m- more modernized because mm-hmm. it's you know 2018. You know, right? Yeah, we're but not um, have people. St- I mean, black people still have um, like troubles and, and tribulations and stuff that they go mm-hmm. through all the time. I mean, yeah. not just black people; people of all races and stuff. Right. Yeah. but uh, it, it it still exists today. Yeah, it, for sure. And also, I mean, it's just like, this might be going back quite a bit, but, um, you know, some people say, you know, slavery happened, like, so long ago. Right. And it did. And, and well, listen, it, sorry. Well, it did, but you have to realize, I mean, that's our, you know, that's our history, and it yeah. affects us, you know, and we're, you know, we're still, in, in a way, we're still, um, what's the word, we're still. Oppressed. Yeah, we're still oppressed. Um. And it, it, it hurts me, you know, especially when I watch, like, these, okay, even though this might, I love this movie, like, like Boys in the Hood and, like, stuff like that. Yeah. You know, I mean, that's literally, that's, I mean, that's, that's what happens. Mm-hmm. I mean, yeah. that stuff happens. I mean, yeah. we're, even, we were starving, even, but, I mean, some of us are starving, we're, you yeah. know, killing each other. Even, often. even it's in, um, I mean, it's more of a radical example, but mm-hmm. even in the uh, Straight Outta Compton movie, mm-hmm. where it uh, recounts what happened with the, like the rap supergroup NWA. Yeah. Um, there's that scene where they're outside of their recording studio on a break, and they mm-hmm. get pulled over by those cops. Yeah. Um, and that's like a real thing. Like mm-hmm. that, that still happens. Yeah, I st- I still get pulled over me, all yes, the time. Yes, me. Yes. Okay. Exactly. That's what I was gonna pull up. Cause I mean, like. Like when I, because I live in Kuwaita, you know, there's not really any black people there, and it's like every time 
I go to Walmart or you yeah. know go somewhere. You're talking I'm to the guy who lived in in Tahlequah, Oklahoma, for two years. Yeah, it's Kuwait mm. is just as bad. Man, yeah, it's 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 pretty rough. Yeah, and it's just like you're just you just know you're just being watched constantly, and yeah, that's just like right. it makes me feel like I'm doing mm-hmm. something wrong when I'm not. Mm-hmm. Well, it, it's, it's so weird because even if you go through things like that, black people now really won't talk about it. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah. And I feel like this movie. Um, even though it's very fanciful and it's all fake, mm-hmm. it, it brings up a lot of important topics. At yeah. the very end of the movie, he's in this press conference, um, and uh, one of the things that um, I'm trying to remember his exact quote, but um, he's I- addressing the United Nations, yeah, mm-hmm. and he says to them, you know, in times of need or just in times, period, mm-hmm. um, it's better to um, build a bridge than to uh, like build a barrier mm-hmm. right. between people. Yeah. There's no I mean and and I think he even says in the movie like we're all people. We're all yes, the same exactly, we're yeah. all the same people, you know. We we all inhabit the earth and and there's no reason why we should be separate from anybody. Right. In this case he's talking about um Wakanda versus the outside world, but it's so played up to the fact that he's really talking about the world as a whole. Yeah. There's no reason why people should be um subjugated from other people or you know um regardless you know anything and also just showing that people in power they have the power to do this they can change i mean if you want something to change you have every right to um within your power and um, fight for it though well yeah Yeah, i mean i mean and there's a there's a lot of things in the world i think i mean the three of us for sure would change but uh, nothing happens. The I police state of Sherlock Gnomes, that's for sure. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. I swear. Well, I mean, okay, it sounds really uh, cliche, mm-hmm. and I, I, th- I, I don't want to say it's an old Chinese proverb. I'm not sure. But I th- it's like the journey of a thousand miles begins with a single step. Mm-hmm. Right. It's, yeah, it's, yeah. A, it's literally that. You know, if you want something to get done, like how, how do you eat an elephant one bite at a time? If it's a it's a <laughs> it's a thing. <laughs> Who's doing that? No, and, and no, it's a yeah, thing. No, like I, you know, yeah. if you want yeah. something big to get accomplished, mm-hmm. it's n- you can't just like hope and wish for, it and then one day like oh, right, it changed. Like yeah. it's not gonna happen. Oh yeah, for sure. Um, and this movie was a, in my opinion, I, I did feel very empowered. Okay, to I'll coming out of it, you know. I also wanted to bring up. Um, so Nathan, you're black. Yeah. So you understand this. Um. Black people are like, okay, you need as a black person because we, you know, we have our stipulations and all that. Right. You have to watch Roots. Yeah, I've seen it. Okay, <laughs> okay, but here's the thing. <laughs> I feel like after seeing this movie, right. I feel like we need to be like, we need to watch Roots and Black Panther because Roots was where we started, mm-hmm. but well, Wakan- um, not Wakanda, <laughs> Black Panther. I feel like that's where we ended. Yeah. Like that's like that's. Because we're royalty, I mean, you know, and and this like this is a total. I mean, I know they're totally different movies, but right. Um, they both have um, what's his name? Never mind. I'm sorry. Continue. Okay. Yeah. (laughs) 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 Ah. But no, I mean, this just um, but this like really, this one just really empowers us, Mm -hmm. and just really just shows us, you know, I mean. We're all we're all cool. We're, yeah. all, mm-hmm. we're, we're all cool. And I mean, and when I was a kid, I mean, growing up, I'm like, man, I wish there were more black superheroes. I mean, yeah, you know, Batman's cool. He's my, I mean, he's my favorite. Static Shock was the bomb. <laughs> Static Shock was, yeah, he was pretty cool. He's legit. I mean, because okay, look, when we were kids, all we had was Blade, which we couldn't watch. Spawn right. could not watch him. Nope. Static Shock. I mean, he was all right. Meteor Man. No. Yeah. But Let's not forget about Steel. She goes in. Oh yeah, Steel. a little shit. <laughs> <laughs> <Little tank. laughs> and then, but the now, power of gold bond. <laughs> but now we Every have time. Black Panther, <laughs> right? And and he blows all those guys out of the water. Oh yeah, for sure. Mm-hmm. And this is also good for little black kids too. Mm. I mean, because they'll have a hero to look up to right. now. You know, it's, it's someone that's just yeah. like them. Oh, uh, it was just something I always wanted when I was a kid. Yeah, I would have given anything to go be able to go to a movie with my with my, like with my dad mm-hmm. and just see um, a black superhero movie. Yeah, and I guarantee you, like I know that we just saw it, but I'll definitely be going back with my dad for sure. Oh mm-hmm. yeah, for sure. Yeah, I'm, um, I might even see it again. And tomorrow. I mean, and I mean, for people like my dad, and my mm-hmm. dad is sixty three now, mm-hmm. 
Yeah. So he lived through a lot of that stuff. Yeah. Um, when it was like at the height of its like bad, like yeah. it was very very difficult. Um, and I don't know if you guys are aware, but Black Panther, I I don't I don't know if it was created before or after. It was cre- It was created. The character was created before the movement. The, uh, before the movement. Yeah. Well, um, for those of you who don't know, the Black Panther movement was a real thing. Mm-hmm. Um, and um, I, 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 th- I th- maybe that's where they drew the Black Panther character from. I think so. But um, the Black Panther movement um, had to do with, uh, I believe, some athletes. I don't know the full details. Um, are you looking it up? Um, yeah. They they went to a bunch of, I, I want to say the Olympics. It could have been just like international races. They went everywhere, man. And um, what they would do is, you know, you see – um, black people will occasionally put their fist up in the air. That's where that comes from. Mm-hmm. Um, there's a really famous picture of a black athlete who I th- I believe won. I want to say he won gold. I could be wrong, but Is it Jesse Jackson. I think so. Okay. Um, but uh, uh Jesse Owens. I don't know. Uh, I don't know. They I'm were they were sure. runners. Yeah. But um, when they would win, they would put that symbol up in the air to mm-hmm. s- to symbolize you know. Um, being oppressed and, and black people really at that time weren't allowed to mm-hmm. um, go and compete in, in Olympic events or um, athletic events like that yeah. um, because of the oppression. And that spawned this whole movement. And I don't want to say kicked off a lot of civil rights, but that was a huge part of the civil oh rights yeah, movement. Yeah, for sure. Um, and um, that this character um, identifies a lot with that movement, mm-hmm. especially because of the namesake. Yeah. I felt like. If T'Challa, he I know he was the main character and all, mm-hmm. but I kill I, um, I felt like Killmonger. He was more of a voice, oh for yes. black people. Yeah. Oh yeah, and yeah, and because, I mean T'Challa. I mean of course you know, his <laughs> his people are black, but you know they're born in royalty. Right. You know T'Challa. He's he was living in you know what we're living in now. You know? Yeah. Yeah. Um, we aren't all royalty. We're all you know. Some of us are struggling, and you know, and he was he was the voice for them, yeah. And and actually, I mean, they mm-hmm. can prove him wrong in this movie. They really yeah. couldn't, and he was right. right. And actually, if if anything, um, they tried to keep the fact that he was right away from from people. Mm-hmm. Um, well, even themselves. Yeah. Well, know, before we like get into get further than this, we should tell them that big twist. Oh yeah, go for it. Yeah. Um, so. There, uh, Forrest Whitaker is in this movie, and he plays Forrest Whitaker. He's also in Roots. Sorry. Yes, he is. Forrest. <laughs> that's who I met. That's who I met before. Okay, you um, know what? Ethan knows a black person. <laughs> um, Forrest Whitaker is in the movie, and he plays kind of like uh, almost like a wise old. Yeah, he's like the wise, like in every movie. Yeah, like the, the like the wise. Yeah, literally mm-hmm. the the wise advisor to uh, T'Challa, and um, eventually he. Um, after having a, a run in with Eric Killmonger, um, Eric tells T'Challa all these things that sound insane and not what he had been told as a kid. And that flashback that we told uh, everybody about at the beginning of the episode um, today, um, the other guy um, who was in the room with the brother in 1992 was Forrest Whitaker. Mm-hmm. He he was a he was a secret agent. Right. Yeah. He he was the uh, Zuri. The, yeah. Um, Zuri, his name? Yeah. Zuri? Um, yeah, so Zuri was in the room with uh, T'Chaka's brother. And T'Chaka, if you have forgotten already, <laughs> is T'Challa's dad. So That was funny how, like, his younger self had the lazy eyes, too. <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> yeah. Um, but, <laughs> yeah. I mean, the, the younger characters look a lot like the older characters. Yeah. Mm-hmm. They did a really good job on that. Yeah. But, um, turns out, so whenever that, fl- uh, that flashback is cut short at the beginning of the movie... We finally later on get filled in on on what w- was cut away, mm. when it, it cuts uh, away to the little boy who looks up and sees that like spaceship looking thing that from Wakanda. Um, they actually show us what happened in the uh, apartment during that time. Yeah. And what happened was, um, they were going to take away the brother to Wakanda, um, and once the brother found out that the Forest Whitaker's character, um, Zuri, had betrayed him in a way. Um, by spying on him to uh, the king, he was angry about it. So when they tried to take him in, he I th- I think it was he had a a gun. Oh yeah, yeah, he had was a, it gun. a gun. Yeah, he, p- yeah. he pulled a gun on Forrest Whitaker's character to try to kill him. Yeah, and uh, T'Chaka comes in real quick, and he's wearing like a very 
like pimped out Black Panther costume. Yeah, oh yeah, it was yeah. dope. It, it yeah. was like gold and had like a mm-hmm. cool. Yeah, like, he had some dashikis on there too. Yeah, 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 it was really really cool. Yeah. I was I was sad that that was only in that part of the movie, mm-hmm. but um, anyway, so he tra- pulls a gun on Forrest Whitaker's character, um, and T'Chaka the King steps in, um, and prevents um Forrest Whitaker from getting shot, but because it wasn't gonna go well from there, he had to kill his own brother, mm-hmm. and that. I just did not see that coming. Yeah, me either. And then we find out that um, on top of that, that, that the little kid that was on the basketball court was the son of um, the the uncle, the the uncle who uh, the brother. Yeah. The um, brother. and that son ended up being Killmonger, the main villain of the movie, right. mm-hmm. which is like a whole string of things that it's so well done that yeah. once you see that flashback. Everything, all those puzzle pieces kind of click together. Yes. And every, you go, oh, man. And that was one of the, mo- the moments of the movie where everyone was like, oh, what? wait, what? Mm-hmm. Like, the brother dies. You find out that that dude in the room was Forrest Whitaker. Um, you find out that um, the the, uh, the king, T'Chaka, tried to cover it all up. Yeah. And not tell anybody mm-hmm. about it because it was kind of dishonorable and kind of a disgrace. And also, on top of that... Um, he wouldn't let he wouldn't bring the kid back. Yeah, because he because he was because yeah. he was half Wakandan and then half American. Right, and they wanted like full blood Wakandan. That's right, and up. going um with that whole theme of you know shutting themselves out from the world, mm-hmm. he didn't bring the kid who actually was Wakandan. Um, he didn't bring him back to Wakanda because of whatever rule that was that they set in place. So he grows up to be Eric Killmonger, and. Um, then he um, tries to exact his revenge on the Wakandan people and, and try to get um, yeah. all the stuff they have out. Oh, let's let's not forget that he was working with Claw for a while, and then yeah. he ended up betraying him. Mm-hmm. Yeah, he killed it, him. Yeah, he killed yeah. Claw. Yeah, which um, I don't. Uh, that was kind of surprising. Yeah. Okay. And also needed, but surprising. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, I knew he was gonna die anyways. Oh yeah. Um. Also, another thing. I don't know if you guys felt like this, but I felt like this was like one of the most gritty uh, Marvel movies that we've seen. It was very yeah. tense. Yes. Yes. Yeah. There was, was a lot. I mean, I, there was a lot of like challenging of power and mm-hmm. fighting over the bloodline. And yeah. I am royalty. You're, you know, I'm the older son that was disgraced. You're the younger son that got yeah. everything. Mm-hmm. Um, very like a pro- actually like kind of like a prodigal son kind of. thing. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Now that I'm thinking about it. Mm-hmm. There was a lot of that. Yeah. A lot of that. Yeah. Um, uh, what's up? Black Panther actually came out several months after or before the speech at California in Berkeley for the Black Panther movement. Just going to uh, say that. So right the now. character was created before. Yes. Yes. And then they used that yeah. as their. I, uh, I, that's what I figured. Yeah. So. Who there? Who were the guys who in real life who were associated with the Black Panther uh, movement? Huey Newton and Bob Seale. Bobby Seeley, sorry. Did you know Tupac's parents were um, part Black of the Black Panther movement? Did not know that. Yeah, yeah, and they had to like they had to keep running away, uh, moving to different places because they were getting hunted down for by the FBI yeah, and wow. all that. Hmm. Um, but yeah, this is. Listen, if you guys have black children, please take them to see this movie. Yeah, this is something like, this is something that they need to see for sure. Because in a time that we're living in right now, this is this yeah. is it. This is what we need. It, to see. it reflects a lot of um, what is kind of happening in the world today. There's a lot of tension in the world, mm-hmm. um, and oddly enough, a lot of people don't like the person who is currently in power in our country. Um, and I kind of felt a lot of um, slight mirrorizations of of that. In yeah, the, yeah. In, in the movie, oh. um, that's fine. Uh, yeah, there was a lot of uh, mirroring of that in the movie. Yeah. You know, you have Eric Killmonger, who's kind of like this um, crazed, mm-hmm. um, power hungry. Yeah, he's because um, his thing—he wants to invade idea. everyone yeah. because he's like. Yeah. You know, this world hasn't done anything for me, yeah. so yeah. I might as well just take over it. And and he said, I there was a point where he was sitting on the throne, and they were talking about what he wanted to do, and he s- talks about how, like, you know, th- we're going to start the world over, we're going to hit the reset button on the world, mm-hmm. and Wakanda's going to be at the top. Right. You know, which is, like, a very immature way to think about that kind of position of power, mm-hmm. which is, like, 
it was kind of scary how closely that that mimics things that happen in our world today. Yeah, exactly. You know? And I mean, we are the United States is a superpower. Yeah. So yeah. I mean, we, yeah, I mean, ugh. but at the end of the day, this is a great movie. Fantastic movie. Fantastic movie. I think um, so far it might be one of my favorites. It might still be in my top three. Uh, yeah, that's what that's what I was thinking too, and I and like I was thinking that, and I was like, man, I don't want people to think I'm, I'm being biased because I'm black, but then I'll, I kind of don't care. Yeah, but well, okay. I'm not, but I'm not being biased because this was actually a great movie. Well, yeah. Okay, well, I, touching on that, I feel like after you listen to all of this and you whatever you take away is whatever you take away from it. But um, yes, it, there is some bias, but this whole podcast is dedicated to telling how we feel about movies in our mm. um, unprofessional, professional opinion. Yeah. Um, and you can't remove the, um, for lack of a better term, the, the blackness from the movie. Oh, yeah. So, it, it's, I mean, it's everywhere. It's the in the name. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I mean, the, the, the African-American um, influences in the movie are so strong mm-hmm. that to ignore it is just kind of ignoring the movie yeah, as a whole. Yeah. So I feel like even though yes, two of us sitting here are are black. Mm-hmm. Um, most of all, I think it it hit home with us. But oh yeah, the movie in itself is just so well done. Yes. Yeah. Ryan Coogler is a genius. Yeah, and uh, Killmonger. I mean, he he had to be my favorite character because he was the most relatable. Yeah, like and he, at the he end, was, he, at to the like end all when he black died, people. He was like relatable to all black people. I feel. Yeah, yeah. And like, and especially because I mean, because I had lost my father, you know, yeah, some years ago, and I, and then that, and then like when he was like, you know, reconnecting and talking to him, like when he was in the what was it, a- ethereal plane, what mm-hmm. ethereal plane, ethereal, ethereal plane, yeah, that like that definitely like hit home to me, and yeah, and then he, and I just like, he wants to change the world, f- but for what he thinks is better, mm-hmm. right? Because that's all I mean, because. I mean, he hasn't. He wasn't growing up to see what the better actually is. Right. He's only seeing what he knows. Yeah. Right. And that's I- and ex- okay. And that brings me to another, you know, subject, which is that's really similar to okay. So you know, uh, you, so you saw NWA, right? The boy, uh, what's it called? Straight, Straight out of Compton. Compton. Straight out of Compton. Um, so they hated the cops. Yeah. Because, you know, and you know where they were from. You know, the cops had to be a little rougher. Yeah. You know, and they wouldn't, you know, always be fair and whatnot. Right. And, you know, from there, they, you know, they just hated cops everywhere they went because that's all they ever knew. Right. right. You know, like uh, this, in that whole lifestyle that they had, that's all mm-hmm. they ever known. Yeah. And I mean, growing up like that, I mean, it's, it's, uh, what you learn from growing up, mm-hmm. it, it just kind of stays with you. So, right. yeah, yeah, for sure. And yeah, like like I'm saying, it's like with Killmonger. I mean, that's yeah, that was his character. Yeah, yeah. And um, although I will say, like in a lot of ways, superhero movies are like they introduce the character, mm-hmm. and in most cases they give you an origin, mm-hmm. and then they're gonna set up the bad guy, why the bad guy is a bad guy, how he becomes a bad guy, how he gets his super his powers or whatever. Mm-hmm. Then how how the the good guy relates to the bad guy in some way how they did him wrong or how he's sent him to jail or whatever mm-hmm. then there's a big climax they fight and the bad guy either gets killed or gets thrown in some super prison yeah um in this case yes killmonger does die mm-hmm. but what they do for him at the end of the oh, movie is beautiful. such an incredible payoff yes. it is cuz he wins at the end pretty mm-hmm. much he i mean yeah he, yeah he gets what he yeah. wants um you you, you want to get into it no that's all you oh okay well so um Let's go back to the flashback with yeah. um not the flashback the little ethereal I can never pronounce that ethereal the ethereal plane uh, that you know Killmonger goes into um hit, you know when he's he talking meets to his, his dad. dad yeah when he's talking to his dad and his dad's telling you know I want to take you to Wakanda one day you know they have the most beautiful sunsets you know he's like well then why don't you take me he's like well I don't think they'll let you in so then now we're you know let's go to the at last Probably, fight scene yeah. um so. T'Challa and Killmonger, they're fighting and all that. Um, and, you know, T'Challa wins and he stabs him. And, you know, he's slowly dying. And he's like, oh, man, he said something really powerful while he was dying. Um, God, do you remember what it was? 
I forgot what he was saying. Anyway, like right before he died. Well, no, not like okay, okay. Here, let me let me just get to the main part. So, um, so the child, you know, he's like, um, you know, he picks him up. We don't know where he's taking him. I thought he was just gonna throw him off the edge. That's what I was thinking. <laughs> yeah. Was, yeah. Oh really? But then, um, you know, we see him go up this elevator, and then this beautiful scene where they freaking the sunset of Wakanda is right in front of him. Then, yeah. Uh, um, Killmonger's just staring at it, and he's just like, he's happy, he's smiling, he's crying, and then T'Challa's like, you know, um, we can, you know, we can heal you, you know, um, uh, you don't have to die, and then he's like, you know what, our people have been slaves for years, um, and I don't, you know, and I would rather die than be locked up in a cell for the rest of my life. So he just goes and just he just ends it right there. He just takes his own life, and uh, yeah, that part. Oh yeah. my god, just just explaining it, man, I it makes me want to just tear up because mm-hmm. it's just that was it. Like that. Uh, I think oh I god, think I, 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 I think that said well. a, that said a lot about um what that position of power means mm-hmm. because with T'Challa being so gracious after. Literally, they're like, this is a dude who came out of nowhere, mm-hmm. who had all these ties to Wakanda that nobody knew about, yeah. mm-hmm. and, and in a day came in with all his training over all those years of like yeah, uh, government a, and like. Yeah, he was secret. like an assassin. He was yeah, like, yeah, I mean, basically, being like a, a, he was on an Iraq and all. Yeah. yeah, he came in and like beat the living hell out of T'Challa. Yeah, and then he, seen, like, he took his him throne. Up, yeah. yeah, like stabbed him and cut him up a bunch of times. Oh. Before, <laughs> okay, I'm sorry. Before you finish, I think one of my favorite lines was, <laughs> so he, um, they're in the throne room, and then this is the first this is the first time oh, uh, they all meet Killmonger, yeah. and um, they're oh, like they're yeah. like who the hell is this guy? And you know they're all talking, and then um, the guy from Get Out he holds up the necklace that had and that was his father's yeah necklace, and the brother like, that got killed. Yeah, and they're like, oh my god, and then he hands it to um the queen. He's like. He's like, well, hello, auntie. Yeah. <laughs> and I yeah. was like, oh. He goes, hey, auntie. Like, oh, how you doing? yeah, hey, auntie. Oh, man. Which is, like, quite uh, very brilliant. Yeah. Like, oh. Really good. But, um, but yeah, like, mm. like he came in, and all that happened, and he challenges um, T'Challa in front of all of his people mm-hmm. yeah. um, and calls him out, and then, and then he kicks his ass, like, yeah. really bad. Mm-hmm. He gets beat. He gets cut up a bunch of times. He gets like the snot kicked out of him, mm-hmm. and he gets embarrassed in front of all these all his people, and then he gets thrown off of like a cliff. Yeah. And after all of that, and like taking his throne, mm-hmm. and trying to undo everything that Wakanda had tried to build, mm-hmm. um, T'Challa is still nice to him. Yeah. And offers yeah. to save his life and mm-hmm. try to give him something better than what he had. Yeah. Which is like exactly what it means to be a leader and to and to uh, be. Um, a king and yeah. of, of sorts, you know. Yeah. Oh, I got I got his quote wrong earlier. It was like, you know, our ancestors they jumped ships, um, just so they wouldn't have to be shackled up their whole lives. Mm-hmm. And you know, I'd rather you know I'd rather die. Yeah. Oh no. Yeah. That. He yeah. said like because yeah because uh, it, it was yeah because it he was said yeah just bury me out in the ocean like my ancestors uh, yeah. would jump ship yeah so they wouldn't have to be prisoners. Oh my gosh, that was. Yeah. I'm telling you, man. This this is um, this and Roots. These are gonna Ro- Black Panther is gonna be one of the new black movies people have to see, mm. or just anybody in general. Yeah. yeah. Well, well, I mean, well, but yeah, no, I I know what you mean. For the for a little, it's it's so funny how we do that. <laughs> it's like you gotta watch, you gotta watch Roots. Yeah. You gotta watch Boys in the Hood. Yeah. yeah. But uh, Black Panther is probably gonna yeah. be one of them. But yeah, but. You are right, though. Yeah. I mean, it absolutely it relates well, to, like, to everyone. Yeah. I feel like it, yeah, and that we should be mm-hmm. conscientious. Yeah, conscientious. but, yeah, and that's, yeah, that's, yeah you're totally Cause that's, right. Because that's the way that we change things, is yeah. being more. I think but especially with that press conference at the end of the movie, mm-hmm. where he's yeah. talking to the United Nations and says all that stuff that well, I said earlier. Mm-hmm. Um, like, that's how people, black, white, mm-hmm. you know, straight, gay, doesn't matter. Right. Yeah. That's how people should, should treat other people, you know. It's, mm-hmm. it's right. You know, everyone's a person, and everyone's entitled to what they believe and what yeah. they want to do. Um, exactly. Yeah. You know. Also, um, I think that, um, 
you know, for black people. Because I know a lot of us are, you know, we can be bitter. Yeah. Towards white races. But, you know, like you're saying, that ending, it's like, you know, we're all in this, you know, we're all in this together. Yeah. We need to work together. Um, and they knew what they were doing, too, because, yeah. yeah. like, while he's saying the speech, they pan over to the United Nations, and you see all the different races. And yep. yeah. It's like, yeah. it clearly, a lot of, like, visual symmetry there. Yeah. So that, that's Imagery. And, they, and I think that'll that'll definitely help out, you know, yeah. the, bit, the bitter black people, um, for sure. But this was a great movie. It was it a was. very, very yeah. good movie. I, I like... Honestly, I, w- I was going to go into this movie. I thought it was just going to be like every other Marvel movie. Yeah. I was like, because I was like, I'm going to be honest, I was a little iffy about it. Mm-hmm. Um, But, man, this this blew my mind. Yeah. It definitely blew my mind. And it was so artistic. That's, mm. yeah. Because we don't really get that no. with Marvel movies. They're Very all, different. They're all really linear. Yeah. This one, it was just like, the pacing was just right. Because the pacing worked perfectly for that twist. Oh, like, yeah. Yeah. Those twists really got me, man. Like, yeah. I did not see those coming. Oh, yeah. And I, lo- and I loved how they started off in the n- in the 1990s. That was, in, uh, it was great. Um, yeah. The soundtrack. The soundtrack. That was. Yeah, by that Kendrick. Was, hmm. That it was, was awesome. the bomb. So good. Loved every- I need to actually get that soundtrack. Same. It's really good. I can get it on vinyl. Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> it's an ongoing joke about how I collect yeah. vinyl soundtracks but I don't have a <laughs> recorder. <laughs> or uh, what's it called? A player. Yeah, record player. Yeah, record player. Yeah. I'll get one one day. It's just like mm-hmm. I, years. the part mm-hmm. of my collection. No, yeah, okay. <laughs> Do, oh, okay. <laughs> Do your what's it called? Do your little Guido. Guado. Guado. Do your Guado, Guado oppression. Because no, oh why? Yeah, because we no, because we were talking about. Are we ending everything with that? Well, no. oh, well. not exactly. How are we gonna, we gonna go from Black Panther to Star Wars? No, he always I, does I, it. I don't know how we do like, it. But. No, okay. you won't. No, no, you won't. Okay, so in episode one, Annie, <laughs> Annie. <laughs> okay, go. no, in episode one, you know, Qui Gon Jinn goes and tries to like barter for the life of um, Anakin and his mom. And oh they try God. to buy like a new engine for their <laughs> ship that was messed up. I don't know. Just do it. <laughs> <laughs> I, I'm, I'm setting up story. But, okay, so he goes. Okay, Republic credits will do fine. Mm. And Jedi mind tricks don't work on that like <laughs> race of space creature. <laughs> so <laughs> Qui Gon Jinn's like Republic credits will do fine. And he goes, No, they won't. <laughs> and then he goes, oh No, they will <laughs> do fine. And he keeps going, No, they will. It's uh, oh it's. <laughs> Oh my god! So stupid. I remember that scene so because he's like, he's like, "You will give me the power." He's like, "No, no, I won't." <laughs> and, and, <laughs> and then, like, and then, you will give me the power. He's like, "No, I won't." <laughs> no, so he's li- better, man. no, literally. Okay, in, in episode two, <laughs> oh when Anakin gosh. comes back, mm-hmm. and then he's like some like decrepit old man. He's oh, like, he's, he's like, he's like Annie. He's like, Annie. <laughs> <laughs> like, like, He's like, Annie! <laughs> like, makes no sense. You're so big. No, I know. You're big. You can be a big slave now. <laughs> oh, God. It's, it's, how, uh, did, how did we get from like this awesome I, I, I'm sorry. Him. I'm sorry. I just, like all him him I, just wanted, I just wanted to hear that. <laughs> People who listen to this are going to be like, he did it who? again. <laughs> he did it again. <laughs> so Okay, so Black Panther. Oh. Great movie. What are our final thoughts? Needs more Watto. Okay, I'm sorry. No, <laughs> it does not. <laughs> um... Lisa, can I agree with that? Oh my <laughs> god! No, okay. Uh, final, <laughs> final thoughts. I, I mean, I think it's it's an incredibly well done movie. Like Anthony was saying, um, as like the the f- main the film dude of of the three of us. I don't know anything about it, but it <laughs> felt really smooth. Oh, yeah. Um, yeah. The movie, like the pacing, was really good. Um, it wasn't campy. It wasn't. Mm. Um, you know, they have the obligatory Stan Lee. Um, cameo that that I thought was just yeah. okay. Yeah, but now that he's in every movie, it's yeah, just I know it's uh, just like I I don't know what to expect every yeah. time. I, I just don't care at this point. But yeah, me either. Yeah. I thought it was really really well done. Yeah. You guys. Yeah. Um. So I thought out of all the Marvel movies, this was literally the most original. Yeah. Um. Wasn't linear like they always are. Yeah. This is very artistic. Very different. Cinematography yeah. was astounding, and I was I've been watching Blade Runner. 2049, and hmm. I've been comparing those cinematography styles. They're both really good, but yeah. man, Black Panther. 
Black Panther's colors really give it just that that oomph that mm-hmm. that it just makes everything just pop out. Yeah. And just the whole setting and the environments like this like I said earlier, it was like this little this little neo um freaking the neo Africa in a sense. Right. So yeah. yeah. Like uh, cyberpunk, Cy- cyberpunk, cyberpunk like yeah. you were saying earlier. And all the actors, fantastic job. So good. I gosh. And this direction the director, Ryan Coogler. Coogler, Coogler, whatever the Coogler, hell you are. Yeah. No. You, you did it, man. You got me into Marvel again. <laughs> because I want to see more Black Panther, for sure. But not just Black Panther. I want to see more just Marvel now. Yeah. And now, yeah. I'm, I'm, now I'm really excited for Infinity War because I get to see Black Panther. Once again. And then also we get to see, you yeah. know, all, all these other great characters. Think, and, oh, yeah. And, you know. What, 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 was this Phase 3? Are we going into phase or four? This yeah, is no, we're, going we're going into in, three. No, we're going into phase four. Okay, Are you sure. Yes, I think with this the, is phase four. With, no, this is phase four because phase one was. Oh, okay, I'm not gonna get into that. Is Black Panther the first movie of phase four? No. What was? I think. But no, because I, th- I, I thought Infinity War, like the two movies, those are the end of phase three. That's what I thought too. I, well, I thought because no, I thought Infinity War was the beginning of phase I four. Could, I could be wrong. I, I don't know, man. How do well, I search fax that? Up? that. Yeah. You know, like my grandpa says when he wants us to look up stuff. <laughs> hey, fax that, booby. <laughs> no, but um, also, yeah, all the characters worked for me. They they're really well written. Yeah. The action. I feel like it'd be great. And like even with Spider Man Homecoming, mm-hmm. that was a very, uh, not as big of a departure, but it was very different from what Marvel had been doing. Yeah. And. Uh, Black Panther is drastically different from what they've been doing. Mm-hmm. So I feel like th- hopefully this is turning over a new leaf in the yeah. way that they produce their movies. Phase three. Yeah. We'll be going into phase three. No, we won't. That's what Jay I said. promise we won't. There's no We way. just got out of or phase. We, we got a phase. Th- wait, you, you said we're getting out of phase three? Yeah. But, mm, we're, getting at, we're going into phase four. Okay, so what's phase four then? Phase three, right here. Okay, so that's two thousand three. Yeah, Black Panther, and then, and then it goes into Avengers. But I feel like I forgot to put that. Oh, Captain Marvel. Oh, yeah. don't get me started. Yeah, no, I don't. And then Infinity War sequel. There's what I thought. Phase th- four will be Spider Man two. Wait, 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 wait! I thought they're just doing a one part. No, apparently. no Infinity no, War. Dude, because I imagine because I remember no. they first said they're doing a two parter. It says right there. But mm. part one. I know. I I don't know at this moment. But <laughs> no, I don't know. I'm just. I'm telling you what's <laughs> right here. The Infinity Stop yelling at me. The <laughs> Infinity War is two movies. But like, if you think about it, like, unl- I mean, here's the thing. I would pay to go sit through like a three four hour movie. Uh, but yeah. no. But, but I could barely do the Godfather part two. No. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. So <laughs> it has to be spread out. Plus, like, if you think about all the characters that they have mm-hmm. in all of the universe, that's we've just seen in the movies, yeah. that is huge. Did you see the cast yeah. photo that they put up? Yes, yes. They forgot Giant. somebody. Who was it? Um, Somebe- I, don't th- I don't think uh, was some people couldn't be there. Was it the Agent S.H.I.E.L.D. guy? No, I don't think he matters, really. No, that, that's... He matters. <laughs> no, I mean, that's not affiliated All Marvel lives MCU. matter. Oh, okay. Oh, I didn't know that. Really? Yeah. Okay. Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. is like an offshoot mm-hmm. n- for just the TV world. Oh, okay. They don't, they don't work Okay, that's understandable. Yeah. Um, also, the... You know, I think the movie was just, it was just good. It was great. Yeah. Yeah. Artistic. Ori- the, the originality was the thing that got me. Yeah. And I feel like from now on, since if this, well, this movie is going to do great in the box office. Oh, yeah. Um, Immensely. You know, they Marvel may even be like, hey, you know, you guys can have a little bit more creative control over this. Mm. Well, and I mean, even with um, Ryan Coogler, you can tell he brought a lot of his own style to it. Yeah, exactly. As opposed to sticking in that Mar- Marvel formula. Mm-hmm. And a lot of the actors did, too. Yeah. Chadwick Boseman, I mean, th- this is his first, well, I don't want to say like I know, <laughs> but like with Creed um, and with uh, the other movies that he's done, it feels like he's been playing a character that was kind of already established in a way. Ooh, he wasn't in Creed. Who did I say? Chadwick, oh, yeah. Chadwick Boseman? He was in yeah. 42. I meant, it, uh, I meant... 42 is uh, James Brown. Yeah, excuse Fiona. me. What, what mm-hmm. am I saying? Um, talking about Michael B. Jordan? No. Yeah. I, I was talking about Chadwick Boseman, but I okay. thought he was okay. doing stuff. I swear to with, uh, with Get Up, he was playing James Brown, so mm-hmm. you have to stay with James Brown. Yeah. With 42, you have to stay with... Um, I forgot his name. Ro- Jackie Robinson. Jackie Robinson. Yeah. So you have to stay inside the lines of Jackie Robinson. Mm-hmm. Whereas this, now he can really... And those movies were big, too. Right. But... Um, with this, he could really bring 
that part of Chadwick Boseman to the character as opposed to having to stick with what's already been proved to him. Yeah. Which I, I think made the whole movie way better. And, and mm-hmm. all the characters did that. Yeah, so oh yeah, for sure. Well, also, I... And you, go ahead. Oh, no, no. no go cool. ahead. No, no, you go. Okay. You go. Well, also, just with this movie and going into it, mm-hmm. it comes with a big name. That's yeah. how I was mm-hmm. thinking. And yeah. so they have to um, deliver that. Oh yeah. oh, yeah. And so... And they did, obviously. Mm-hmm. I mean... Above and beyond, I'd say. Yes, very yeah. much so. So I feel that this movie will be... And even, like, their character development... If you yeah. just break it down, oh my gosh. it's just yes. such so an amazing thing. And I hope that with the Marvel MCU yeah. that they're going to be uh, taking note, every director oh, yeah. and every oh, yeah. writer, because this is what most people want. Yeah. 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 Something e- even like the heavy exposition that? that was at the top of the movie with the big like telling of how Wakanda is Wakanda. Oh, yes, yeah. I love all, that. all of that exposition didn't feel like exposition. Right. Mm-hmm. It really just felt like someone re- recounting the events of – well, because they set it up with like, oh, well, tell me the story again, mm-hmm, you yeah. know, and it it didn't feel like any of that. Yeah, exactly. Like it was yeah. very, very masterfully done. Yes. Um. So, uh, guys, what would you rank Killmonger on your villains list? Ooh. I don't even. I'm definitely I don't above Ultron. I, I don't even <laughs> have it <laughs> yeah. on the Marvel li- villains list. Yes, which th- it shouldn't be that hard. <laughs> to be yeah. Honest. No, it's. N- There's not a lot of them. Yeah. That yeah. were like. Outstandingly great at this moment. Oh. I mean, I, I, I did like Daniel uh, Bruhal's character in um, uh, Ross Burns. Croc, right? No, oh, no, oh, excuse me. No, he uh, was uh, what's it called? Uh, Zemo. Baron yeah, Zemo. Yeah, he was great. Yeah, I like I liked him. Um, then I like Vulture. Vulture was good. Vulture Michael was Keaton. Good. Yeah. yeah, he was good. Um, and then Killmonger. That's the only one that actually. And maybe Thanos might be good. I mean. I would hope he would be. Yeah, he has he's been shots. a big deal. He's been hyped up for he freaking two years. <laughs> <laughs> he's got Deadpool too, yeah. and now this one. Yeah. So, so um, I don't know, man. I think I think for the sake, see, it just feels like I'm jumping the gun because we just saw the movie. Yeah, I know. But sure. uh, um, I think for the sake of the character development and what you take away from the character once you walk and away from the theater. I think it's his driving force. It, it's got to be Killmonger, I yeah. think. It's because of his driving force. That's, yeah. that's well, because really he's he's a quote-unquote bad guy. He's a bad guy, mm-hmm. but he's not a bad guy. Yeah. Right. He's, kind of like Vulture. Right. Yeah. He's, I mean, he he has all of the best intentions, um, and which is actually more than even the Vulture had, because the Vulture mm-hmm. meant to do, be a criminal. Right. Um, but he... Wanted what he saw that there was an issue, and he wanted to take action against it. It just ha- so happened that the action he took was um, of a less than legal stance, but mm-hmm. um, but he he meant well. What yeah. he what, and everything like he said, he, what, everything he said was true. So yeah, I feel like th- for that reason alone, and the character development and and what he brought to the overall movie was mm-hmm. just great. So I I think he'd have to be my number one. Yeah, yeah, well, I think so for me too. I agree. Just yeah. his driving force, his character development. Very strong, and, and just that twist, man. Uh, that still gets yeah. me. Even in that final fight, he w- he he like uh, he you know obviously like every fight there's like banter between mm-hmm. you know the good and the bad guy. Yeah. Um, and he refers to um, T'Challa as cousin, which is oh, like yeah. not a not. I mean, it's a a second worth of dialogue, maybe, right? If that, you know, but it's enough to where you go, oh, yeah. Family. Yeah, like, yeah. Mm-hmm. That's it's kind of crazy how that works. Hi, auntie. Oh, no, yeah. That, that was yeah. right. Like not a big that deal, but like it, it, it goes like, oh, it's getting kind of real now. That was the one that yeah. made people in the audience go like, oh man, <laughs> yeah, oh, shit, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, he got him, man. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, um, honey, yeah, definitely. He <laughs> 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 <Sorry. laughs> randomly says that, honey. <laughs> okay, well, guys. I don't know about you, but I, I think I'm done talking about Black Man, Panther. All I gotta I mean, say we, is Black Power. Black Power. Nice. Ethan? Flower. <laughs> Flower. <laughs> and guys, um, thank you guys so much for watching. Our next review actually will be Sherlock Gnomes. No. Will you stop <laughs> talking about that movie? <laughs> He's been doing this since we since like we all met up to go see the movie. He was okay. Like, okay, hold on. Okay, no, no, Sherlock no, no Gnomes is garbage. Hear me out. Hear me. Oh. Yeah, you heard what I said. Black Power. See, <laughs> see, the thing is, you want to see. We talk about this masterpiece of a movie, and then you come in with that crap. Uh, 
Sherlock Gnomes is going to be a masterpiece. <laughs> you want to compare it to this? Black Power. You want to compare it to this? I mean, the movie's not out yet, so I can't uh, compare yeah, I it. I think it is. <laughs> it's not out. Is it, is it really? It's Let's, not out. I'll look Check it up. It. Yeah, look. Okay, so, well, guys. It needs to be. It's out of the trash. Since we're all here right <laughs> yeah. now. No, up. we aren't seeing it. No, okay, since we're all here right now. I can't believe you're defending it, that movie. No, okay, I'm not really. I'm just. <laughs> you, keep, no. you say that every time. Every time. Just, I, I feel, I feel like, like you really, are. You, like, really, like, are down oh with Sherlock Gnomes. The next podcast is like. So, guys, we saw Sherlock Gnomes. Okay, so okay, since you guys are all here, I got a question to ask. Yes. Well, I What's s- your I know, favorite I know gnome? You. Okay, I like, gnomeo. I like Sherlock. But <laughs> <laughs> no, uh, I know you've seen the new Incredible TV series. Yes, Ethan. I, don't I have know. not seen okay. it. Okay, okay. Uh, Nathan. Can we watch it right now so we can get his reaction? <laughs> yeah, sure. I'm Let's looking at that. that Sherlock. Well, well I mean, how long are we at already? We can say that for now. Uh, it's like, yeah, no, we're fine. Yeah, we got uh, because, March twenty third. Is it done? No. No, that is not done. <laughs> that is not <laughs> done. <laughs> okay, here's my here's my thing. Who is that? To me, Who is Annie. <laughs> okay, do you want to oh, do you want to watch it first? Yeah. Uh, and then, yeah. Okay. We can do that. Sounds good. Um. So, guys, we're gonna check out this uh okay. w- Incredibles two teaser. Uh. Well, Ethan has a. You it. you can keep the volume up. Yeah. That's what I'm doing. Yeah. Yeah. It's oh man, this is kind of cool. It's like a live. Yeah. Oh, hold on. That's not it. That's, I know. That's Black that's Panther. What are you doing? I'm trying. Okay. I'm going to move it. Okay. Okay. Sweet. All right. Um, Annie? I'm very excited for it. <laughs> you got really close to it. You're like, Addy? Addy. I didn't see you. Okay, so is it this one? Is that uh, r- Oh. Yes. Okay. Uh, hey, 10 before, million views. Hold on. Before you click There's on that. There's a lot of them. Have you guys seen the um the trailer for uh Dwayne Johnson's new movie? Not this one. But the one where Rampage. he has a prosthetic leg. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yes. oh, oh, where he's How like is the guy with a prosthetic leg doing all that <laughs> I know, stuff? I know. And why, no. he, and okay. like, why is that like his why is he oh, okay. prosthetic okay. leg? Okay, here's is the he... thing. In in the trailer for that movie, like they set up like, oh man, he's <laughs> injured in combat. Yeah. He's got a he's got a prosthetic <laughs> leg. And they ham it up. But then at the end of the trailer, he's like he's jumping like, off yeah, buildings yeah, with a prosthetic <laughs> leg. And then like he's hanging upside down and you see his legs slipping. And, and he's like, Oh no! What's gonna happen? Makes no sense. I wanna see that only to see what happens after oh that. Oh my god. <laughs> that rampage one though looks bad awful. Yeah, because that used to be a video game. Yeah, well, I was it still is a video game. Yeah, but oh. I love that video game actually. Uh, oh, so that's which one should I do? Yeah, no, that's my favorite. I'm gonna do oh, this okay. one. This one's a yeah. day ago. Like, okay. The Underminer. Okay. Right. I'm glad he's not the main villain. Yeah. All right, so this is like straight off oh, the yeah. bat from the, like. Oh. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Picking up right where they left okay. off. Okay. They look so good, man. Yeah. That's what this one. Uh-oh, there goes Samuel Jackson. <laughs> Motherfucker. <laughs> the original crush of every person 14 years ago. <laughs> right? Man, a last of ass. <laughs> <laughs> Why is Mrs. Incredible so thick? I don't know. Everyone, like, maybe maybe she's not really thick, but maybe the elast the elasticity. <laughs> she does that I herself. Okay, yeah. <laughs> she's like expands herself. She was really cool to play as on the video games. She was boss. Yeah. Oh, so that's interesting. So they're, so she's the only superhero at this moment. Or that's what they're kind mm-hmm. of. That's interesting. Yeah, because you're supposed to lead like this revolution. Okay, spell them back up. Oh. That'll be June interesting. 15th. Okay. Yeah. It's pretty oh soon. Oh my god. <laughs> there she go, thick. <laughs> she better watch it. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So the, the, the thing that I got from that. It, it's, it's it's a lot different because it seems to be mainly focusing on Elastigirl. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. My thing is that it looks like the same premise of the first one. Was it like because, that? Yeah. Because mm. like, well, it, not the same premise, but like it's kind of morphed a little because in the first one, he goes out and does superhero stuff, and right. she's yeah. at home, mm. you know, taking care of the kids and all that. So it's mm. like it's but it's kind of like the other from way. From what I got from the trailer, though, I really hope that they don't neglect the rest of the family 
Because it seemed yeah. like it, like Elastigirl it looks like is like doing that. the central part of the movie. Yeah. And I and I want to see more of the family. Like this is the only good Fantastic Four movie we have. Right. Mm-hmm. You know, I want to see Five. Jack Jack. Oh, no. Nah, fuck him. <laughs> <laughs> He's a baby. Yeah. Um, but I mean, and, and to be fair, it, it is going to be a lot of what the last movie was because it does pick up right where it oh, left yeah. off. Mm-hmm. But I, I I'm excited for it. Yeah. Like, yeah. It's my favorite. Oh, no, definitely. Movie. Yeah. 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 Same. Oh, well, I don't know if that's my favorite animated movie. I think mine's the tie between The Lion King, Beauty and the Beast, and Pocahontas. Oh no, Pocahontas is boring. The second the one, Treasure Planet. <laughs> uh, I love. Oh, that was a good one. Love Treasure Planet. Am I losing my mind? <laughs> <laughs> Plugging his head back in. Uh, yeah. Um. But yeah, I'm I'm definitely down to watch it. Oh, man. dude, it's gonna be that great. movie. If it's that movie doesn't make a billion dollars, I don't know what will. I, yeah, because it's been. Because it's been so for anticipated it, for years and it's years. It's been 14 years. 14, man. I would have never have thought it's been that long. Mm-hmm. Like That movie came out gosh. when we were kids. I know. Dang. Like kids. Time sure does fly when you're not having fun. Oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> really? I thought, I thought yeah. I'd been having fun this whole time. <laughs> that was real depressing. Yeah, man. That's gonna 14 be awesome. years, I still can't. For- what have I been doing? <laughs> Going Waiting for this duty. movie, apparently. <laughs> but yeah, God, that movie came out when I was eight. I must have been eight too. <laughs> eight years I old. I must have not been eight. <laughs> <laughs> Probably like, oh man. So you got? Are you? You think it looks good? Yeah. No, think? I'm super excited for that. Yeah. yeah. Animation looks no. good too. Oh yeah, like. it looks perfect. Um, I wonder what it's going to be Pixar interesting to see it in 4K. Oh yeah. Yeah. I wonder I what know. the next Pixar movie is going to be after that. Finding Nemo. No, I don't oh, want to see another Finding Nemo. Oh, I don't. Do I? Do you really count Finding Dory as one? I really no, don't. No, there's what? no reason well, it's a Pixar to. Thing. Much like the Venom movie, there's well, no reason to do that. We don't. Venom. We don't need a whole movie drawn out for this one little like instance. Like we don't mm-hmm. need that. Yeah. Yeah. I wonder. Oh, I wonder what else. I just want them to bring back Syndrome. I know me too. That's what syndrome I think because like I was boss. reading the synopsis for it and it sounded the same. I'm it's like syndrome. It, the synopsis was basically the main villain from the first movie. I didn't remember his name, but yes, I know what you're talking about now. Huh. Yeah, he I the, he the cool these are rocket boots. Oh, I okay. invented yeah. these. Yeah. Oh, but yeah, from the Fly synopsis home, that buddy. I um <laughs> that was reading, it was all like um, Elast- Elastic Girl gets called out, you know, to kind of be like represent representative for supers right and you know i guess she gets like trapped somewhere and and the family jumps in the action and and then by a villain a new villain or something it's just syndrome again (laughs) yeah i I would be fine with that to be honest like robotic like syndrome that would be kind of cool yeah Mm. or if maybe if they made like a third movie Mm-hmm. Then they could bring it back then. Oh man, third movie, fourteen probably years. You, yeah, yeah. Like fourteen like, yeah. years later. You, for you third give movie. you give them another. You like you give the for, the whole family a time jump. Everyone's a little bit older. Mm. Um, maybe you have like, it's like the last like we gotta come out of retirement one more mm. time. Yeah, you know, for, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we never retire to begin with. <laughs> no, but I mean like they just uh, made us. Right. Well, you know what I mean? <laughs> like Elastigirl and Mr. and Mrs. Incredible. Excuse Elastic me, Elasta Thick. Oh my god, <laughs> dad asked a girl. <laughs> dad asked a girl. <laughs> um, oh no, god. but like oh you god. bring Mr. and Mrs. Incredible out of retirement, and then the kids are older; they're like in their teenage, like teen years. Yeah, and then it's a, it's a thing from there. And well, Violet's like kind of already in her teen years. Oh yeah, she yeah. Feel like an adult. Yeah. I just Jack, 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 Jack. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> for real. <laughs> Jack, Jack. <laughs> Jack, Jack. He's like buff and stuff. <laughs> <laughs> I just want to see more with uh, Dash because I have this weird thing with like characters going with fast. super speed. Gotta go oh, fast. Super speed. If Speedsters you, if you are s- awesome. Yeah, if you have super speed, you can do anything pretty much. Dude, the Flash. Is, the Flash is my teleport. dude. Except slow down. I'm pretty sure you can find a way to slow down. Correct. <laughs> 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 yeah, looks like a good movie. Fly home, yeah. buddy. Fly home. <laughs> Gosh, I need to watch it again. Um, so, we saw some trailers. Oh, hey, hey, hey. We forgot to talk about the uh, post credit scene. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Well, we talked oh, about yeah, one of Oh, yeah, with Bucky. Well, wait. What did we, okay, so was one of the post credit scenes the um, the one where he's talking to the United Nations? I don't think it was. Yes, I think so. Okay. Really? Yeah, that, yeah, that was the first one. And then the second one was the Bucky one. Yes, and it seems like... Uh, child's sister and him, they're they're pretty cool. 
What, I cool mean, friends. where we left him, Killing I think Kong. that was Civil was War. That yeah. yeah, Civil War is the last time we saw him. Yeah. Right. And he so was Civil War frozen. Right. They like cryogenically froze him for whatever reason. Yeah. But now he's out. He was like in some kind of hut. Mm-hmm. Yeah. He still doesn't have his arm. Yeah. Um, and obviously, being the tech like god that she is, she's gonna give him something like insane. Yeah. Hopefully, not a plastic arm like. Yeah, <laughs> garbage. Yeah, it's like a little puppet arm. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> I still can't get over his little. Honey, minute. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna keep doing that just throughout this. Anyway, but um, yeah. So I, I don't know. I'm I'm excited to see what they do with him. So I'm guessing he's gonna be in Infinity War. Oh, he's uh, no, he's in the he's in the trailer. Have we yeah. seen him in the trailer? Yeah, whenever they're all running into battle. Have we um, seen his arm? Yes. Yeah, it was metal. He was there. Oh, so he has it back. Yeah. Yeah. That's why I said Infinity War's thing is so awful. Because they give you everything oh. all out there. Wow. Oh, actually, okay, now that we're talking about it, that was another thing I was going to say about Black Panther. The trailers, mm-hmm. like, they gave you, like, enough to where you can be like, oh, I'd go see that movie. Oh, yeah. 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 But they didn't give you anything about the story or, like, the twist exactly. or what might or might not happen. Yeah. You barely saw any of Killmonger in the mm-hmm. whole thing except for that thing where he's like that. Yeah. yeah. You know, like... Which I wish I had that. I could just like the Makova God. Oh, <laughs> well, we don't want that. Well, yeah. Well, Without context, that sounds I know. really yeah, weird. Yeah, yeah. Well, but there's Keep your con- clothes on, there buddy. is context. <laughs> I know no one can see you on a podcast, but all they're saying, just like, yeah. Um, all right. Andy, I, I, stop. <laughs> I swear to God, <laughs> I'm not gonna like it anymore. <laughs> but um, no, no, that's not how you're gonna like it. It doesn't matter. You'll laugh at How it. How old? <laughs> but no, I th- I hope movies start doing that more. Yeah. Like giving yeah. us a little little taste. Because well, like back in the day, it was like one man. Yeah. Go, 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 go. <laughs> one woman. And then it was like like Star Wars coming. To, it, mm-hmm. They didn't give you anything. Oh, yeah. yeah. I'd rather um, go back to that, though. Yeah, I mean, me I wouldn't mind it. it. It would leave a lot more to the imagination. Kind of like what Except if did. it's. Uh, yeah. No, if it's not like that. I'm good. Which, yeah, we talked about that movie last yeah. week. It was uh, uh pretty bad. Uh, it wasn't wow, wow. completely bad. It was just right. like it was a disappointment. It, it was. But you know, it wasn't a disappointment. Black Panther, Black yes. Power. Very much so. That too. Flower. <laughs> Flower. Flower. Yeah. Um. Yeah. That chlorophyll dude was not. Uh-uh. No. 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 I don't want to talk about it. Yeah. And I still need to watch Chlorophyll and Rain soon. I'm gonna give it to you today. Yeah. yeah. Remind me. Uh, currently, right now, guys, I'm watching a Blade Runner 20. I know I brought this up earlier, but Blade Runner 2049. Rain. <laughs> Have you seen it? <laughs> no. Do you speak English? <laughs> <laughs> Do you speak the English? No, I don't. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. Um, yeah. Honestly, I don't know why that's so funny because that's a horrible impression. I know. He actually well, <laughs> out of all out, out of all three of us, you're the best. At yeah. It. So yeah. all you have to do is like make your voice really raspy and do a <laughs> weird accent. Like it's not. It's so stupid, and no, I'm not even good awesome. at it. It's so bad. <laughs> you're so humble. <laughs> Anthony's drunk. Oh. oh my gosh. <laughs> Since your name is Anthony, can't you technically be Annie of ever? No. Oh my gosh! Yes, you can. No, I can't. No, Annie I can't. forever. Stop. Anthony, stop it! <laughs> stop it. <laughs> Don't you dare! No, okay. I love this. No, okay. Don't call me Annie. That's kind of like Anthony. <laughs> <laughs> I just like go and change my go. name the next day. I'm like, I'm like, <laughs> my name's Derek. Yeah, the name's Ted. Ted. <laughs> Teddy. <laughs> go change it again. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh man, um, so did we talk about the Venom trailer? <laughs> because we, no, I, I, thought, like we I, I thought you said we were gonna save that. Oh yeah, well here it is. There you go. Oh oh, oh, oh for this show. Okay. Yeah. Um. Um. Here, well, I know me and bad, talked about first it. of all. One did we talk bad. about it last week? Or the, like we talked about it one episode. Uh, I just felt like we were just like it was awful. Because it, it, it is, but it was um. It didn't show you anything. No, I mean, it and doesn't. it's just like you see Tom Hardy on a bike. That's like the that's only that's the, like the only yeah. Yeah. crazy thing you and see. And then you see him like having a seizure. Yeah, and then you see the symbiote. Yeah. Which, and like I was telling you guys, I never thought that this was ever going to be a movie because I know they announce movies like this, yeah. uh-huh, and they'll back out because there's no reason to have a movie. No. Like, 
we know who Venom is, and regardless of whether or not you want to address it, he's already been done. Yeah. He was done in Spider-Man 3, yeah. so we know how, like, the character. Mm -hmm. um, are those canon, though? Did they? Oh, no. I thought not. there's. No, they threw but those people out. who are alive know that movie. Mm -hmm. And that Spider-Man 3, is, uh, particularly, is infamous for being bad. Yeah. I um, mean, made fun of a lot. Right. If you don't remember. Yeah. <laughs> but, <laughs> yeah. um, like, we know who he is, and we know where he comes from. And even if you hadn't seen Spider Man 3, you are aware of any. <laughs> <laughs> you, you are aware uh -huh. of um, the character itself. So I yeah. don't understand. No one gives a shit, like, where he comes from. God, you made me remember my favorite scene in Spider Man 3. <laughs> now, to go on this. Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. 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 Oh my god. So Black good. power. Black power. <laughs> You're yes. on the same page. Yes. No, it's, he's in that jazz club. <laughs> he just zooms in on his lip. He's like, now dig on this. No, and he starts like, Dude. he starts Dude. snapping. And, oh my god. and then oh my he like slides all the way across the room on that yeah. chair. And mm. oh, it's so it stupid. So and, and I know um, Sam Romani, uh, the guy who directed the, the whole, that trilogy, he originally was just going to have Santa Man as the villain. Yeah, mm. and then the studio the was like, "No, add more villains. You know, <laughs> let's add three: yeah. Green Goblin and Venom." And then he's like, "Okay." And then you know, deadlines started going. Then mm. things start going bad. So I mean, this could how have awesome made, would it been a good movie? How awesome would it have been if Sam Raimi would have just taken that and it could have been like a full, like they could have expanded that into yeah. more well, movies. Then they I didn't know, understand I know for back then <laughs> that they could make other movies. Well, that was one of the first movies that jump started. Superhero movies. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. The original yeah. Spider movie is. Oh, I love that movie. The second yeah. one's my favorite. Yeah, it's really, really good. This, yeah, the Octa so the Octavius. He, he was a great Dot villain. Com. I thought. I mean, I probably need to go back and watch it, but yeah. <laughs> man, that was a great movie. Um, third one, I I loved it as a kid only because oh Venom, I like Venom, yeah. and then growing up, I'm like man, now dig on here, this. Man. Yeah, and then <laughs> so funny. And then when he's like, he's like freaking walking down the street, he's like, yeah, he's like pointing at girls and whatnot. And, and, like, he's, and he's like snapping at them and stuff. <laughs> oh, and he's just like spinning around. <laughs> Get on up. And then he's like, <laughs> he's like dancing in the middle of the street. <laughs> so Dude, funny. Yeah. Man, I might. Uh, that's weird. That would be a good movie to like. <laughs> no. To like <laughs> rewatch. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah. And then. Oh, I forgot Harry died in that movie. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I just. I look. Are you look at, did you look it up? I, I googled Spider-Man 3. <laughs> <laughs> now dig on this. <laughs> is that like the first thing that came and up? And the first thing that comes up is <laughs> Spider-Man 3. Now dig on this for 10 minutes. <laughs> <laughs> okay, play, play for no, a little please. bit. No, please. Oh, gosh. <laughs> now dig on this. Yeah. Now dig on this. <laughs> Does it show the video? I don't know. Okay. I need to hear it. I need to hear it. It's just so ends. funny. God. It's just yeah. so bad. Like, why? Yeah. It really, I don't know how that, I don't know how that slipped through the cracks. Now dig on this. <laughs> oh, my God. Now dig on this. <laughs> now dig on this. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> the lips. No. It's just, it's so, I so zoomed sorry in. For, I feel so sorry for Tobey Maguire. Well, no, because no, I feel no, like no. those movies made him really famous, and they also, like, the third one kind of ruined him. They also got him. rid of him. Yeah, and guys, we're kind of sleep deprived right now. It's like oh, three o'clock in the morning. Oh my dude! <laughs> but we oh. had to get this podcast out to you guys because this, yeah, this movie was important. It's, it's a amazing. very important movie. Yeah. Now dig on this. Yeah, now dig and on this. this. <laughs> black power. <laughs> no, no. Flower. Now, uh, now dig on this black power. <laughs> I like, I like <laughs> the uh, the move away and the. <sighs> I was like, you can't see me. <laughs> Ooh. No, I can't. <laughs> no, I won't. <laughs> it makes so it's so so bad. Like yeah. I can't. I don't know. I don't know why it's so funny. Oh my gosh, what's up? We should totally recreate Star Wars, but with just the Watto voice. That's like, awful. Episode. No, it would be amazing. I have a bad feeling about <laughs> this. <laughs> I am the higher ground. <laughs> That's the moon of the space station. <laughs> I hate you. <laughs> <laughs> no. I have the high ground. No, you don't. <laughs> there you go. I have this to my collection. <laughs> we are. Oh wow, we are ruined. Like, oh my gosh, there. what if they did like Jar Jar Binks and Watto just like at the same time? Like Jar Jar Binks is a trap. It'd be awful. Misa, have the high ground. <laughs> oh. <laughs> 
What? Uh, we can what, recreate. Ethan, you, we can recreate. Like you were just this. like having a scene. No, because I'm super excited. We can recreate this right now. Right now. Yes. Uh, the like, scene. We can find a scene Ethan, that you it's both 3 know. I know. That's why it's so. It would be amazing. Okay. Well, I'm down. With this, right, oh, I you're mean, actually down for it. This is a good way to well, end the. This is the good way to end the uh, well, the podcast. Okay. <laughs> just keep talking. I'm gonna look okay. for a scene. I'm gonna look. For, actually, look for the lines for the. Uh, for Which the, one? For the uh, I, I the really, fight with. Oh, one. Star Wars three. Yeah. I really don't want to do a lot of voice for that one. <laughs> an entire scene. <laughs> like, uh, you're gonna love it. Don't worry. No, worry. you will. <laughs> <laughs> I just wanted to go to Dodge Station and pick up some power converters. <laughs> okay, I wish Sorry, I could I remember lines Star and Wars. all that from movies. I'm I know. So, like literally, I'm once so we got out of Black Panther, I'm like, what the fuck did I just see? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> well, that's why I kept playing like the. Uh, the trailer mm-hmm. back over and over yeah. so that I could like remember the yeah. parts because I, once I came in here I was just like fully yeah. like I don't the remember water anything. Ruin my voice. It's no, it's, it won't. It's okay. so, <laughs> so uh, I'll okay. Listen, I'll oh, lose my voice to do this Jar Jar Binks thing. Did you find the so the we'll script? be fine. I'm looking for that. Maybe we can Google so, it. That way we can yeah. just look at it. Guys, we'll be right back. We're gonna look for this. So well, what? Wait, are we? Do, what? Ep- what are we doing? Star Wars. Uh, yeah. yeah, Star Wars that, Three: that, Re- the, Revenge of the Sith. Yeah, the part okay. where he's like, "Okay, I have it." Oh, hey, here, well, I have it. One, Anakin. I have it. All right, so just keep scroll. I think it's almost there. Who, oh wait, who can I be? Uh, yes. I don't know. So just who's Anakin? Who's Obi Wan? Uh, so I want to be Obi Wan. You want to be Obi Wan? What What's the place? I forgot. It's the Mustafar. Mustafar. Oh man, on the channel we need to play Battlefront Two. Oh yeah, I've, I've got that game. Yeah. Play by myself, actually. <laughs> You're like, I'm going to do that tonight. <laughs> oh, man. Okay, I'm getting to the to the fight scene. Okay. You were the chosen one, Anakin. <laughs> you were meant so, to destroy so, the So who's who? I'll be Obi-Wan. Is there any yeah. narration that <laughs> needs to be? <laughs> I could just narrate it. There's no narration. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> Unless you want to be no, in it. No, we're good. <laughs> I'll be yeah, the I'll be the, I'll be the lava. I'll be the lava. Lava number <laughs> one. <laughs> Just like I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> dun, dun. Heat 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 hot hot. <laughs> <laughs> so okay. fucking stupid. So I guess we'll just go from 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 really this. Doing this. Okay. okay, wait, wait, wait. So you ready? Um we can read the, the narrations too. Here, let me move over here. Okay. You guys ready? Um, uh, hey, you may need to pull your out. Okay. okay, so we'll start right here. Hold on. Where is Obi-Wan and Anakin continue the sword fight. Uh, the sword fight. They battle away, balancing on a tiny platform and puzzle uh, and puzzle droid, whatever. Um, Anakin, standing on the droid, approaches Obi-Wan on the work platform. Um, wait, is that me right there? Yeah, you're... What? what? I tried to get the music. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> Hold on. Okay. Lisa, I have found you, Anakin. <laughs> <laughs> I would never teach you to do Anakin and Obi-Wan confronting each other on the lava river. I should have known <laughs> the Jedi were planning to take over. From the Sith? Annie! <laughs> Jedi the Puppeteer is evil! It's so good! <laughs> From my point of view, the Jedi are evil! From my point of view, oh yes! <laughs> Why did you think you were lost? You said lost! What the fuck? <laughs> This is the end for you, my master. Annie, I wish it were otherwise. <laughs> okay, Anakin oh jumps and slips over Obi-Wan's platform. The fighting <laughs> continues again until Obi-Wan jumps toward the safety and, and the black sandy edge of Lava River. He yells at Anakin. It's over, Annie. I have the high ground. <laughs> no, you don't. You <laughs> underestimate my power. <laughs> Misa would have tried that. Anakin follows, and Obi-Wan cuts his young apprentice at the knees, then cuts off his left arm in the blink of an eye. Anakin tumbles down the embankment and rolls to a stop at the edge of the lava. Anakin pulls himself up, blah, 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 blah. He keeps sliding down the black sand. You are still the chosen one. It was said you were to destroy the Sith, not join them. Me's so mad. It was you who would bring badness to the Forza. Not <laughs> leave us in darkness. How long is this? <laughs> it's pretty long. Obi-Wan picks up Anakin's lightsaber, begins to walk away. He stops and looks back. No! I hate you! 
You were my brother, Andy. I Anna- loved you. Anakin's clothes, bl- uh, clothing blows into lava and ignites. Suddenly, Anakin bursts into flames and starts screaming. Boom. There you go. Honestly, this is kind of this is kind of fun. Yeah, we should. This should be a segment we should do. We do this at the very end of each uh, podcast. Movie movie readings where we just do it in different voices. Yeah, I like that. That's cool. Can I do the next one as Bill Cosby? If I can do The Godfather, that's the next one. Oh my (laughs) gosh! You see, because I put the Jello in me. You fell into my house, man. (laughs) Oh my god! You need the cotton balls in your mouth. Oh my god! That was great, guys. All right, guys. I love that you found the music. That I was know. actually really good. <laughs> yeah, there we I go. I cannot wait to hear this. Oh, my gosh. We should start the podcast off with that. We'll see. We'll see how yeah. it goes. All right, guys. Well, we had a lot uh, of fun. We had a lot of fun. Great. Uh, we had a great time seeing that movie. Yeah. A little great reenactment we just did. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, yeah. So, guys, make sure to go into the comments and just tell us, you know, what you felt about Black Panther. And then, you know. If there's some things that we missed, you know, make sure to tell us because, yeah. you know, uh, we don't want to miss anything. Yeah. So, yeah. Well, guys, thank you for listening. Again. Real quick, I What's think up? also, like, if they want to comment, um, since now this is a thing, mm-hmm. if they want to comment oh, um, yeah. movie scripts they want us to read oh, in yes. stupid voices, oh, awesome. that would be a lot of fun. And oh, and yeah. also comment, like, what voices you want us to try to impersonate. Yeah. Yes. I think it would be really fun. And Me? Then, I think that'd be fun, too. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <my. laughs> Oh my gosh. Awesome. Yeah. Okay. Thank you for listening to another episode of Movie Man Talks. Make sure to listen while you eat, while you sleep, while you watch Black Panther. Any? <laughs> while you watch Star while Wars. While you raise your fist in the air and yell Black Power. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah. See you guys. Thank you for listening to Movie Man Talks. If you enjoyed this episode, consider subscribing to our channel at Movie Man Productions or like our Facebook page at Movie Man Productions. 